Motherfucker. That's it. Hey, gang. This is Colin Quinn. This is Jim Norton. This is Dennis Leary. This is Opie from a lot of things. This is Burt Kreischer. Stan Cook, and you are listening to Robert Kelly's You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? <laughs> ippy bippy baya, ippy bippy boo. Dippy dippy daya, yabba dabba do. Dude! This is Robert Kelly's You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Is that not recording? No. Uh, Kelly, turn that fan off. You gotta reset that up. Kelly, turn that fan off. There you go, Joe. Oh, are we live now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's the story of your life right there. Are we live now? All right, here we go. All right, we're uh, we're in. We're in. Welcome. Yeah. I'm, I'm bummed out that we have a, uh, a visitor here who now thinks that we always start the show with you going, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we don't. We don't start the show like that. Um, all right. We're here. Welcome to another episode of You Know What, Dad? And we have uh, AKA uh, the <laughs> fucking sensitive Joe. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't get sensitive right away. Joe List is here. My baby girl. My lover. My vine buddy. Uh, we got Dan Soda, a.k.a. Big Head, Flat Nose, uh, Voice Boy. And voice Boy. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, Monster Voice, Kelly Festuca, One Tit Festuca. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did we call last week? Uh, Picasso Titties. What that? is it? Was Picasso it? Titties? Yeah. Did you see that fucking I'm drawing? That picture, I know. <laughs> and then we got, I mean... I don't know how we got him, and I'm so glad he's back. <laughs> Bill Burr. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everybody uh, just got excited. How excited would Dan, Dan yeah. would move to LA if Bill was like, Dude, come out here. You know, I'd like that little sidekick. Yeah. He would move to LA. To be a sidekick? Um, mm-hmm. We got Nate Bagazzi. Uh, yeah, this is, it's happening. It's happening, man. I don't man. have to do this from my phone on no, the garage. No, the guest spot, which is uh, people are uh, really enjoy your guest spot hey, every week. We're about out of ideas, so I hope they had fun. <laughs> I just stress out about that all week. <laughs> That's good though. That could be a guest spot. <laughs> Stressing out about that. That's all it is. Look, man, I told you you don't you don't if you don't do one, you don't want one. You don't have to do it every week if you don't want to. I them. didn't do it last, but I got it I got one. Did you put the last one up? I, I do. I put them all up. That's what I do. Yeah. You didn't respond back to me though, so I thought you hated me. No. I no. thought I was done. I was just busy. I do a lot of shit. A I lot had a, going on. I had a lot of going on. Though. That's what we said. We go, uh, who does, they go, oh, he's pregnant. Oh, me and you were talking on the one and said, well, they're about to have a baby. And like, are they, I thought, well, you thought maybe you did have the, like, did they have the baby? That's why he's not answering me. And oh, they were sure. like, well, him and his wife are thinking about having a baby. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Is it not good? What the fuck was that, Joe? That was if you, if you must know that was me laughing at Nate's bomb. <laughs> that's, what, that's what that was. Uh, that was a creepy. Uh, no, I, I I'm sorry I didn't respond. No, I thought I, I did. But you often don't respond to, to friends. Not to emails. Friends. No, I respond to <laughs> to uh, look. I like calls. I don't like the fucking text shit. I have too much to say. And I don't spell that well. And then the thumbs and all that. And it's just so <laughs> fucking annoying. I get, I'm get. i usually somewhere in a cab and I'm getting car sick trying to respond to some asshole when I just call me. Hey, Bob. It's Dan. Hi, Dan. It's Bob. I was thinking blah, 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 blah. And then we talk for five minutes. All right, I'll talk to you later, buddy. Take care. I mean, what the fuck? Ever hear uh, of brain cancer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You can't get brain cancer. You, right. you ever hear a fucking thumb cancer? I, I was about to make a thumb cancer joke. Boy, we're on the same page, huh, bud? <laughs> nah, we are. I don't know how there's room for us, but. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. Dan, when I said don't talk over everybody, I didn't mean don't talk. What the fuck? 
More what like, the more fuck? like Dan Sulker. Yeah, you little fucking silent scorn <laughs> twat. No, not at all. Oh, my God. Just <laughs> waiting patiently for my opportunity to speak. Oh, jeez. If you wait. I don't like the fact that it's fucking Lewis is the problem. And I get dragged under because that goddamn animal. You're, you're being a little loud, Dan. Yeah, yeah, you're being a little loud. <laughs> and you actually, I was, I was in the middle of a something. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Listen, it's it's Jesus, Nate. Learn how to fucking be on a show. It's been a while. I know you don't. I know you do. You do fucking shows that you don't have to do radio for. Um, wow. Hmm. What? Oh, that was just that, that would have killed if there was any headliners There's in the like room. Features? Isn't that a, that was like a backwards zing? Having what? to do radio is a shitty gig. Yeah. At, no. Isn't that when a you, shitty gig? No. When you have to do sh- when you headline on the road, you have to do radio to promote your show. Are you guys? But you guys are all middlers, so you don't have to wake up and no, do that. Know, are you guys talking about the nineties? <laughs> that's oh, when the that radio was. You still do radio. No, I have to do radio. Barely, I have to I fly radio. in. I have to fly in. Tomorrow to do radio on Thursday. <laughs> Everyone's lying to Bobby. Every club's like, "Yeah, you gotta come do radio." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate is that Kelly's using her iPad as a video camera, like a black lady at an Obama <laughs> event. <laughs> <laughs> What's nice is it's blocking her face, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that one heavy tit. <laughs> <laughs> Old comb over titties. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly looks hot today, if you ask me. Oh, she you, did, no, he meant like hot, like sweaty, fat hot. <laughs> you look great, <laughs> Your skin looks like sweaty ham. <laughs> it look, you know that ham? You know, get ham. it out, get yeah, it out. Yeah, that college ham. Yeah. <laughs> hey, w- what is your name again? I forget. Jessica is here sitting in the uh, civilian seat that we have at the YKWD studios. We're actually moving studios. Oh, how do you feel about it? Well, right across the hall. Are they taking the lockers out? They're, they're going to thin the lockers down. <laughs> with what? With thinner lockers. <laughs> just, that's just a weird. Thing they're going to use a thinning device. Just fuck, just cutting right down the middle. I, well, look, I told them. I go, look, bro. I go up and down and wait every couple of years, so <laughs> I might be able to. I'm barely making it into my own studio. You know, uh, there's there's a few comics that aren't coming anymore, like Big J. Is not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a private he's session. <laughs> yeah, he's done. He's not gonna be able to fit in that new you studio. Put a, you have to do it in his car. Yeah, we we'll actually have to throw a mic out the window. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> a can on a string. <laughs> well, yeah. If it was fucking 1802, I have a long cord. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess technology solved that one. Wow. Um, but we're Go gonna back in the. I'll be back in the bullpen. We're gonna move. Stu- <laughs> we're gonna move studios right across the hall. It's gonna be just our room, and we're gonna have. Um, some fucking insane new features like live like, video uh we're gonna have video now for the show so when we do the show people will be able to watch it live while we're doing it and then download it on that monday so i won't put the only insane feature here what's that what'd you say i won't put the only insane feature <laughs> i kind of liked it it's a middle laugh Af- joke i got it i liked it i'm really I just good. just disturbed by fucking kelly holding up her ipad again <laughs> i'm gonna have to side with mr thriller here and say I gotta <laughs> see the stupid tweet that he's been bragging about. <laughs> I didn't brag about <laughs> it. You've been bragging about it since you come in. Since um, you come in, you just sound like a carpenter from Medford. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I got a laugh from Moses. All right, that's a good manager. That was a good tweet. Um, anyways, so we're gonna be having uh, all kinds of new features. And uh, video being one of them, live video, uh, archive video. Um, and the couch, I think we're going to get rid of the couch, maybe get a bigger fridge so we can put more, st- well, you guys all quit beer, so that's cool. We can just stick with this fridge. I did not. Have a beer. Um, you guys all walked in with pizza, which I thought was uh, rather insulting <clears throat> and, uh, not nice. Well, what happened is, uh, the train was all fucked up. I, I got here like oh, they give pizza ago. out on the train when it fucking stalls? Yep. <laughs> it's our awesome new policy. Sorry, the train is late. Everybody gets a slice of pizza <laughs> and a candy cane. Shut the fuck up. You guys got off the fucking train and went and got pizza on Fat Bob. Boy, Bobby took his funny pills this week, huh? Mm. Hey, bringing the heat. By the way, pizza and candy canes, awful combination. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it was a funny, it's a pizza and candy cane. K C K is very funny. Right, Joe? Uh, he used to be a lot more funny, I'll tell you that. Oh. Come on! Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, what the fuck is that? Why, why are you guys walking in with pizza? Because we got off the train and yeah. none of us had ate today. Eaten? Eaten. <laughs> How do I know that? I knew that too, and Thanks. I don't know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> I love you. You have the Aiden. same haircut as Billy Manchington. 
Oh, I don't know who that <laughs> That's is. That's my stepfather that used to beat me. Oh, we're supposed to get that reference? Uh, no, well, <laughs> <laughs> some people who listen to the show do. With the live video I'm sorry chat, that you, will they be, uh, then be able to get that reference? I'm sorry that you, you didn't get the reference because you're not a fan of the show. I've never heard it, so <laughs> <laughs> I fast forward uh, to the very end. To where it's you? To my guest spot, yeah. <laughs> it's actually so, uh, in the middle, It takes stupid. me 20 minutes to fast forward to a nine-hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans wanted more. Did they say that? Yeah. Well, I think eight people did. <laughs> and I took that as the majority. That's enough. Well, there's one guy today was like, Fucking last week's podcast was fucking unlistenable. And fucking, which I get. It gets a little fucking crazy sometimes. But he said it once and I was like, okay. And then he tweeted it again. Like, what do you this? want? What the fuck do you want? You want me to, what do you want me to do? What do you want? Your money back, douchebag? It's free. I'm sorry you didn't like the show one week. <laughs> You're the same asshole that liked it two weeks ago. It's the best thing I ever heard. And now you fucking hate it. Good for you. You want your voice heard? Get your own podcast. I'll put you on Riotcast as fucking anonymous. That's douchebag. A That's a bad idea. Bobby, you are being so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Can you? What are you? You're like a shitty audience member. That was a good one. Yeah. Thanks. Just laugh. I'm good with. Audience. I'm good with just laughter. What is, yeah. what is what, audience? That's audience. Wow. That's what audience. a great <laughs> audience. <laughs> I don't like how gun shy I made Dan. Ah, oh, no. I'm, just, I'm da, super da, self conscious now. Da. I love how now I have to wait till it's Dan. complete. See, I just did it. Ah, yeah. fuck, I did it. Yeah. Sorry. I'll go back to the bullpen. <laughs> we yeah. should get that guy that. Tweeted to take Dan's place. Young, is that the Young guy? Thriller? Young, Mr. Young, Thriller? Young Thriller. Mr. <laughs> Thriller? That's not the guy Bobby was talking about, though. No. Um, you get a lot of tweets. You guys walked in <laughs> with... You get a lot of hate, <laughs> hate, <laughs> <a> lot of <laughs> hate tweets. <laughs> you get hate tweets? No, I had a guy on my Facebook fan page, uh, uh, my Conan, he... Went to four different comments <laughs> and just started trashing my Conan. Why? Out of control. Like, he goes, it's the worst thing I've ever heard. His name Joe DeRosa? Huh? It was, uh, he started getting in an argument with people about it. Like, this guy was out of his mind. He hated it. Why did he hate it? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> Whatever reason. But I like that he hated it. Probably because he mentioned why do you, Why do you? Because he went to four different places to show Nate that he hated it. That's awesome. <laughs> that has to be somebody you know. No, it's yeah. not. it's a guy in Jersey, dude. Like it's he's... somebody. It's somebody you know. That can't be just some random guy. What do you? You could look at it. It's what four get... different places. Or I think like he goes to. And almost when I post it again, someone goes, "It's funny," and he goes, "I just rewatched it. It's just as bad as it was before." <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, it's, I guarantee it's soda. It's probably v Vecchione and Soda just fucking with you. Oh, Vecchione has no idea how to work a computer. Yeah. So, there he uh, does. He uses uh, it just his thumb. <laughs> Die! No, he's, like, Die. Oh, no, he's just typing with one finger. Yeah, you have to throw a banana every other fucking letter. I asked him to record an eight set, and he's like, I don't know how to record stuff. I'm like, if you just hit record mm -hmm. on the menu, and he's like, ah, I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, oh, he hooked man. up a VCR? How about a He has one. Like, no, he doesn't. Yeah. I think he still makes tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Mix tapes for the no, road? makes tapes. Uh, really? Becky Owen, like, still is the only comic on earth that sends an actual VHS tape in <laughs> to get something. <laughs> and that's why he can't get it, because they go, we can't watch this tape. <laughs> <laughs> we physically cannot watch this. Yeah, we don't own one of these. How about it's our good. buddy uh, Mike Racine? He, he put a YouTube clip of his material on. He's a really funny comic. And he, he headlined it as worst comedian ever, because he thought it'd get a lot of hits. But what happened was people started writing, that's oh, not the worst ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's pretty bad. I don't know, right. It's got a couple things in there that could be good. Uh. <laughs> Shit. I want pizza now. I'm sorry. Yeah. I tried getting them to eat Where'd it you there. get it from? Amores? Amore. Where's that? Right next to the IFC movie theater on 6th Avenue and West 4th. Or West 3rd. And you were saying that it's, be it's better than Joe's? It's good. Well, I, I I like Ben's on the corner, which featured in I like uh, Louis. I, I like. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. I like Ben's, but I like Ben's grandma pizza. Gra Ben's Where's grandma that? pizza oh, yeah. is the best fucking pizza on the planet Earth. I said, "Where's that? <laughs> Where's Ben's grandma's pizza? Is yeah, it like near, my, is it nearby? You like, like my it. sister? <laughs> I, still fucking, I still think the same thing. What is? Is that a style of it's pizza? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. where it's it's cut into the the it's made square, but it's made with a flaky a flaky almost like a pastry type of dough. Uh, it's it's so fucking good. Hmm. It's the last piece of pizza I had. 
before I quit cabs. That was it? That was your last? <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's truly amazing. Gra- Ben's grandma pizza is stupid good. You're stupid good. Do you good. know Louie gets free pizza from Ben's for life? Really? What? Wow. Because he's, it's a commercial oh, every... Does he have his own show? I thought he had to pay for it. He does. Oh. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, I thought he still had to pay for it, though, because you couldn't get the title on the top, so he worked out a deal where you'd have to pay them enough. But because you see, Ben's pizza isn't on the top of the. He's just standing at the front of it. No, I, I had that facts. I, I stopped it with facts. Come on. If that was a DVD yeah. extra, that I'm going to start. Eliminated. These I guitars I have that. over here, I'm going to start using to smash <laughs> Kelly over you're, the head. You're going to honky tonk, man, <laughs> Kelly Fastuka. <laughs> I hate to defend Kelly because I because I don't like her, but we can't just be saying it's a bomb when you're just saying factual or whatever thoughts. You can't just be like, ah, I watched Thank Forrest you, Gump. Yeah, but I'll tell you why. Why would he get it for free when he, he didn't even right. show the name of the place? I'll tell you why, though, because on, Kelly... Your okay. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Kelly delivers everything like it's going to have an awesome thing at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why... <laughs> and you're like, ugh. You look oh. like a shaved gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to choke. See? you got to make him choke. He's going to die. <laughs> to, the, to the audience, Bobby's eating a banana right now. And we really it's the size of a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... I don't like... What's your name again? Jessica. She's losing her uh, shit. I don't like that we smashed Kelly and she laughed but covered her mouth. <laughs> but me, she's just all teeth and... Ah, wow. There's no Why problem. Laughing had a fat joke about me, but Kelly's left tit that died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. She got a Livy Newton John tits. Oh. Old upsided titty for stupid. Ah, I got a tattoo of a fucking pink bandana Every, on that tit. Everyone says that when they were coming west, her van, her wagon got caught on her left titty. <laughs> and her family had to pull her out. I think they took a wagon from Australia. Uh, they probably still have them there. Fuck. What happened? What happened? Phone time. Guys, phone. <laughs> Everyone get phone. It's safe. It's safe. I'm going to have... Uh, <laughs> go, 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 go. That was Nick DiPaolo. It was like a jump from a plane. Go, go, go. <laughs> no phone time. No phone time. Um, I think that the uh, grandma pizza is great. I think Joe's pizza is amazingly good. And, and John's pizza is fucking stupid good. But Rick? if I had a ch- if I had a cho- I never try Amores. It's very good. I love it. I've never tried. Great. Really good. Yeah. Can I interject? The best yes. pizza, some of the best pizza in New York is near my house. Uh, Second Avenue and Third. It's on the corner and it's like a thicker, fluffy crust. They have like honey glazed chicken uh-huh. and like a chicken Alfredo. It's fucking insane. All right. Come on, guys. To all the listeners yeah. that yeah. have said that <laughs> they don't want talking over or anything like that. Uh, we're not gonna. T- we're doing that today. We're trying to not talk over each other and be crazy, but that means Kelly's gonna speak more. So you make the choice. Yeah. Let me bomb. Let me it's grow. Either and your I'll rules, bomb. listeners. <laughs> your rules. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, no. There's too much time for her to get in now. Do you understand that? There's too much fight, and we all shut the fuck up. And you Let s- me learn. I'll grow if I bomb. <laughs> well, you should fucking you should be yeah. nine hundred feet right now. Chim <laughs> <laughs> chim, no, chim chim, no. <laughs> Don't choke. Don't choke. You're gonna make him die. Stop. <laughs> you almost made me choke on banana. Because <laughs> you know, Kelly, if I choke on banana, do not stop filming. Get that. <laughs> I want that on my Facebook. <laughs> I got a kid to support. <sighs> Four weeks. Hey, can I, can I can I throw a topic of conversation out there? I would, <laughs> I would love for you to do that. Yesterday, <laughs> I saw a uh, motion picture called "The Place Beyond the Pines." Yeah, absolute masterpiece. Has anybody seen it? Well, I've it's never the best heard movie of it. I've seen in years. Well, it's Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling, who I want to fuck, and Ray Liotta saw the coolest. I don't want to fuck him. First, I, you know, me and you both have dad issues, so it's, I've yeah. heard it's about that. What the fuck? Why am I out of that? Well, you made a bill. I have three dads. Exactly. You're two getting, foster fathers. You're getting greedy. Billy, we also, made a... Nate, you're getting Nate's, greedy. Nate's album is named after a dad issue, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't have a dad issue. I mean, he's got the greatest relationship. His dad looks exactly like him, yeah. and they talk exactly... It's like, can we he get can, him it's on? like Looper. My dad? Like, See if he, can you do a guest spot next week? <gasps> That'd be funny. I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but yeah, uh, sure. We will try. I will. 
The movie's amazing. Go is it? see it. It's spectacular. Really good? Unbelievable. It's can the best you, movie I've seen. Can since, you tell uh, people without no spoiling it? I'm sorry. Can you tell people without spoiling it what it's about? Bradley Cooper? Well, yeah. I went Bradley Cooper and Ryan Gosling. I think it's I went to see it without knowing what it's about, but it's about it's like a it's about America. It's about uh, it's a very American type story, and it's a lot of crime, and uh, it's just exciting and great. And is that some action is that instinctual with a redneck? You just hear America and like yeah. Start woo! I uh, thought we were about to start chaining USA, but <laughs> <laughs> start fishing uh, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it's really phenomenal. That's um, is it out now, or did you get like some special no. thing? What am I, an asshole? It's out in the theaters. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they yeah. did a tiny mouth sneak preview. Well, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a vine you Joe get, did earlier. Me. You get two. You, whiz, Dan. you get three things of popcorn, three pieces of popcorn, and, your, a... <laughs> and one Mike and Ike. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, because it's like. Because your that's mouth not is a lot small. Of food, you mean? No, because your mouth is small. Oh, right. So that's not like a lot. It's a small amount. <laughs> oh, is that, <laughs> is that your ankle? I Tight see jeans? What <laughs> I like that he has footloose fucking balls right now. <laughs> Joe's yeah, do- just let people know when you got it, you show it. You do. You do. God, I got a nice you, piece. Just, you really do look fucking sexy from the waist down. You got a nice. What are you talking about? Look at these looking good. over here. Yeah, All right. Just doing, just doing pull ups on the train. I, I saw his abs Joe's somewhere. Vine the other day. His girl makes me. She is just so awkwardly funny. Oh, she thanks. does. They do. They put bandanas on, or fucking around their head, <laughs> and they they play these stupid music, and they just dance to each other. <laughs> but her, she kill. She is so fucking awkwardly. Her face is. It's like she's so seriously trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, um, funny. We broke up this morning. Oh. Did what? you really? Um. Yeah. Why? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, hey! I'm SAG eligible. <laughs> yeah, the word, the keyword is eligible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could join, but don't choose to. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to pay the fees. Yeah, that's you can't because you don't have enough money. Yeah, but that doesn't say anything about my acting. Yeah, it does say you don't book enough thing. stuff. Just admit it. Didn't just didn't work. The Mike and Ike was decent. All right, but they, I'm an excellent actor, and you can't prove otherwise. I can. Let's do an acting scene right now. <laughs> oh, nice, Joe. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> kidding, dude. Joe. Yo, I'm sorry, dude. No, just kidding. Oh, my God. I fu- yeah. Wow. That was good. That was good, man. You know what would have been even better? Uh, is holy if shit. You outacted Joe by faking the concern that you had for him faking. What are you crime. talking about, man? Why do you got to take it there, Dan? Every time me and Joe get into it, you got to fucking chime in and say something that hurts my feelings, and then I get fucking angry because that's what. When I get hurt, I get fucking angry, Dan, and I don't want to get angry anymore. Bobby, let's get back to the, <laughs> let's go cut, back to the acting bit. Cut, cut. Listen, Bobby. Yes. The real Robert right. Kelly goes higher as he gets yeah. angry. Really? <laughs> so I'm going to need you to go into almost a Banshee-like screech. A Banshee-like screech. I'm, I'm of course, referencing X-Men character, Banshee. Uh, where's that? There, wow. Where's that? <laughs> Holy wow. shit. Do we have another banana? Oh, wow. That was one of the that great bombs. That was one of those bombs where... Um, <laughs> boy, that was another good line by Kelly. <laughs> that was one of those bombs where there's confusion. I know. Yeah. That was like someone we, threw a fucking hand grenade in the room. Yeah, a stun grenade where we're just like... Me- <laughs> flashbang? Flash, yeah, that was a it. A flashbang. Stun grenade? Um, you guys got the stun grenades? What's he talking about? Like, <laughs> no one would know what that means. No, they would. Stun. They would say the flashbang? I think flashbang, you could actually use the word stunned. I was, after you got flashbang, what happened? I don't know. I was just stunned. You could use it's a that. guy that describes it. Yeah, like I was stunned by but the flash grenade. But if you're a grenade. cop and then you say, "Give me the stun grenade," they're gonna go, "I don't know what you mean." <laughs> like, stun gun, you mean? And then yeah, and then you got He goes, "Whatever the things that y'all do." <laughs> that thing, make, uh, thing. <laughs> and he's like, you gotta, "The guy's gone. The guy's gone." <laughs> right. He just got away. The guy just got away. That was my acting. <laughs> that was good. I liked yeah, it. I think uh, we're all good. I'm trying to do. We're all doing yeah. cop stuff. Kelly, did you fill one of your boobs? Because it does look fuller. Does it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm wearing a different bra from last week. All right. I want you to lie out in the sun this uh, week, just a little. Okay. Well, am I too white? Am I too pale? Well, no, you look like you're topless right now. Where do I? <laughs> oh, because I'm wearing a t-shirt. What? Yeah, white this t-shirt. This is my Please, yeah, Don't figure the jokes out in your head. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> I like the, but it's great to watch her work it out <laughs> while <laughs> talking. She's like, Wait, what do you mean in my tunic? Well, then I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> The shirt's white. So you're probably referencing my shirt. So you're referencing my shirt saying it's the same color as my... Oh, okay. It was like $25,000 pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shirt. It's a white. I have big tits. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh. <laughs> it wasn't clear to me. Tan? I'm sorry. Is it tanning oil? Uh. 
<laughs> oh boy, we are having fun. We uh, <laughs> we are having fun. Um, so I'm a month away from this fucking child. Woo. I gotta stop saying fuck. By the way, I say it way too much. Um, well, don't worry, because Lewis around his baby just likes to say it all the time. Oh, it's Does he really? Yeah. It's insane to the point where I told him, "I go, Lewis, you stop saying fuck around your kids." Like what? He's a baby. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. He's not taking any of this in. Oh, man. When we went to UFC, Vic and I were making fun of him. Because, you know, he, he like puts on UFC and makes his son watch it. Like, he's like sitting there watching UFC holding James. And we're like, yeah, you're desensitizing your child to violence. Jesus we Christ. said that there's going to be like a fight at school. It's going to look over. James is going to have a boner. He's going to be like. Mm. <laughs> 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 He's going to have to take that kid up into the woods, man. Dude, and just fucking Vic raise that kid. Vic, yeah. Vic said he's going to take him out to Siberia yeah. and treat, teach him in Sambo. He's like Daryl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, the, the the fights this week was... I don't know if you got... You're not into the fights, right, Joe? And um, Nate? No. No, you know, I say, like that John Jones guy. Well, his toe. His, oh, oh I, God. I couldn't see it. It was the the grossest... The grossest piece of video, little gif video that I've ever seen on the internet, he's pushing off, not even doing anything. He's literally just using his leg to push off and his toe, and he's using so much strength to push off on that one foot, his toe, his big, fat, long toe snaps. Nate. Look. I don't want to see it. Look no, it. I'm not. Give look, me a look. Just, uh, and they uh, show uh, the video. Oh! They, it snaps. Yeah, yeah. And breaks and the bone pops out. Fantastic! Oh. I love uh, it. It was so worse than the Louisville kid. I mean, the, the Louisville, Louisville kid thing. thing made, where? That He's, made me sad. I've never seen that. <laughs> the oh. Louisville. What in, is that? In the uh, oh. in the NCAA tournament. Okay. Louisville basketball. Basketball. Thank you, Nate. Boys, boys basketball. <laughs> Thank men. you. I know. They're men. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Point guard. Or yeah, I don't know. Something. Came down He's on his there. leg and a compact fracture. Yep. It's one of the grossest uh, things I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy. It was stick they showed it on CBS prime Jesus. time Sunday afternoon. You can't like unwatch four that. inches of bone. It just uh, it breaks, and then they cut to him, and it's like literally like four in inches shorts. sticking. And he's in shorts, yeah. So it's not. Oh, like, thank that's God, what, that'd be weird if he was football. in fucking yoga pants. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what Look at my worse. Some of them wear yoga. Because <laughs> the Thiesman, the, the Thiesman thing, you know, the Joe Thiesman one was horrible, the, but. Like Nate said, and you kind of poo pooed it. He's wearing pants and socks. This is just bare fucking. But here's the thing: is that we're gonna get w way more of that shit as everybody in the world has a video and, ev and everything's on TV. Back in the day, you didn't. That that Theisman thing was like the only time you ever saw something like that. Back in Did the you see day. it? No, I'd, I've you never seen it, and I don't want to see it. Okay, it's yeah. it's one you of those know, things. You know, I'm not, I don't want to. I don't because you can't unsee that. Yeah. I can't unsee John Jones's. I don't want to see it. John Jones' toe is yeah. fucking been in my head since I and I can't get it out of my head. I, and it fucks with my toe. As I'm doing stuff, I'm like, ow, like I'm gonna break my fucking toe. Well Push luckily it. you don't have the pressure that John Jones has. Because it was He might have know. more. Oh, yeah, that's, I think you're arguing the wrong way there. <laughs> that was mean. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. My dad, it happened my dad uh, a couple years ago did Joe Thiesman break. Go he was golfing. Oh, golfing? And, uh, no, he was getting his clubs out. This old man was driving a golf cart behind him and uh, hit the oh, uh, gas instead of the brake. Smashed my dad's leg. They went. Everybody went to go help the old man because they're like, "Is he okay?" And my dad's <laughs> leg is just blood. I mean, it was the Joe Thiesman break. Just was did he sue? Did he sue the guy? Hmm? Did he get money? He did magic and put it back together. Yes. What? Yeah, Nate's it's dad's real. a sorcerer. No. What? Uh, no, no, he what? sued the. Oh, okay. uh, Game of Thrones. He got money with uh, from the golf course. So he made a lot of money, hopefully? I mean, not, you know, I'm going to quit comedy soon, but not that <laughs> money. Thank God. Uh. <laughs> I, th I say we all fucking get hurt and give the money to Nate. The Louisville, quit. the Louisville break was so bad that at the bench that was sitting in front of it where the break happened, yeah. everyone threw up. Like three guys <laughs> threw up, and then the other team was crying. Uh. That's funny. Because they saw I like when people like one <laughs> I remember I was at a Papa Gino's in Boston when I was real young. Me and this kid Chris Bracha, my best buddy. You know that reference, Nate. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> the Chris yeah, the, I, know, Chris kidding, I know all your references. Your stepdad. <laughs> we uh your best well, bud. Well, I'm explaining who it is. I didn't just say who it was. My best know, I'm friend. I'm trying Chris to help him out. Don't help him, he's an asshole. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he talks over he people. Throws me into this. I'm kidding, you're doing a great job. Is, what? Can I speak now? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I, I'm not doing it this episode. Nah, you're fine, dude. I'm kidding. Um, 
yeah, we we went. I remember we did. We had this mowing lawn company. We did, we did uh, like two people. The last person we just got tired and left it. To this day, I've I've never been back to that poor lady's house. I just remember I went back like three weeks later, and the grass was too high for a push mower, and I couldn't do it. And I just was crying in this field of fucking grass by myself, and uh, my uncle fucking yelled at me. You should have fucking done it, and she was mad and. I had to give her a money back. Long story short, that you guys, are, I wish you guys talked over. You, should go, you, you <laughs> should go mow the lawn now. <laughs> anyways. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, Why fucking, did we talk about that anyways, story? Anyways, story, I, was, funny. Uh, <laughs> I was at Papa Gino's. Thank you, uh, Joe. I was at Papa Gino's. Me and him took a little of our money to get pizza. And I remember this, this retarded kid came in with his mom. And I remember... I didn't know what retarded was. I was, still, I, was I had to be you were retarded, eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> eight or nine. And... um. I just saw this kid, this other kid, a little younger than me, and he started eating pizza, and it was so fucking gross, because he was like, and it was coming out, and he was spitting it up, and it was dripping out of his mouth, and me, like, me and Chris just started puking, because this little retarded kid was eating, and I f- always felt bad. Okay. Now I now I realize why we told that story. Why it took twenty minutes to get to the puking. Then I was like, oh, because we talked about the Louisville puking. Yeah. I didn't know where we were going with. I that. should edit that right out. Um, Just get right to the puking. I part. like that the retarded kids like I went to go get pizza and this guy was there and he made me puke. Sounds like Lewis. <laughs> Two guys. Uh, you Lewis is know what you have to say? <laughs> That's Lewis's kid. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to do is fight. <laughs> Wow, that was a real stinker. A but, a, it, you know, you guys... There was a hint of Asian at the end of that Asian. impression. <laughs> um, I think Lewis has got a little hint of Asian. Really? You think? Maybe. He has a lot. He could be anything. He could be. We don't we know. We don't know where he's from. <laughs> he's just an animal that came out of the woods. <laughs> from parts he has unknown. three... Uh, I'm the, you know, down. I'm the godfather of his, his kid, but Lewis only has, like, three relatives. Alive. Like, I'm really close to, like... <laughs> yes. Like, it might happen. <laughs> you know, like, when you make someone a godparent, it's usually, like, obviously the... It would never happen. Yeah, my, there's, there's a good chance of this happening. <laughs> so you might have to take care of Lewis's kid. I'm expecting to take care of Lewis's kid. <laughs> He's already briefed yeah. his wife. Yeah. He's like, listen, when we get James, which we will, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm thinking we'll find a new room for him. Well, that that is a. Uh, first of all, did did he go through? The, you have to be Catholic to have a godfather. You have to go through the church, right? You can't no, just. They they just he didn't. Uh, I think people just make it like. You know, so you're so be my. You're, you know. That's it. You're the guy. I'm the guy. But legally, I mean, religiously, there's a process you have to go through. They have to go to the christening, and they have to be uh, at the communion. James and is all off the grid. So he's off the grid. He's off the grid. Well, I, that's a hard thing to pick, though, because I'm have a birth certificate. I'm thinking the same thing. It's like <laughs> no one knows he's here. <laughs> no, no one besides Beatrice and Lewis. I want to. I want to have a god. I I, I want to pick one of my friends, but I I don't know. Is this why no. we're here? No, is no, because no. soda. None of you guys. Are, <laughs> nobody I know is. <clears throat> I have a kid. Nobody you know is. Do love. you renounce Satan? <laughs> there, there's nobody. And to all of his workings. There's nobody. <laughs> do you renounce the works? There's nobody. Catholic? None of my friends. I don't want. No, not you. I don't want you, my Catholic baby to be in a though. fucking I'm studio in East, the East Village. Going eating, to open mics? Yeah, eating ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn what a bucket is quick. Yeah. <laughs> First person to ever be a godparent for, by begging to be a godparent. <laughs> I'm spiritual If I write goddess. you a really nice email, can you please be the godfather? She, she'd use my kid to get more stage time. <laughs> so I have this baby. Kelly's like, I'll bring four people to the christening. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. You should have a bucket and pull names. Because yeah. <laughs> well, if you do, if something happens to me, or yeah. something happens to me and my wife, that kid is going to go to that godparent. But I, wouldn't it go to the? It go to it, the parents. It goes like, to the parents my, yeah. first. My I mean, parents, legally, yeah, right. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the family. And if there's nobody else, the god. That's why I know. That's what I'm saying. With with right. Lewis, right. I am right there. Yeah, he's like, I mean, it is. I mean, it's like I'm. You know, I said I'm standing. I'm on deck. I said no to being. <laughs> <laughs> I said. I said no to be. At least you'll learn English. I said no to uh, being a godparent to Eric Rivera. Well, that's godfather. Seems, well, that seems weird. Yeah. Nice. No, he was. Well, we were friends, man. We were uh, when he was coming up. I used to take him on the road all the, before you ass faces. Me and Eric hung out all the time. I used to take him with me all the time, and we were very tight and close. I mean, we still are. I still love Eric, but uh, he moved to L.A. and I, you know, we we stopped hanging out as much. But when he was having a kid, he's like, "I want you to be the godfather." I was like, "I can't. I can't do that because I don't." I don't know if I want that. 
I don't want to. What if something? God forbid, because there is like a small. I don't know how big his family is, and God forbid something happens, probably and big. I'm stuck with this little tiny fucking apocalypto baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta explain why. Why doesn't he? Why is he only four two? He's Guatemalan <laughs> though. There's probably like fifty of them. No. That's what I said too, but mine. Oh. No one heard mine, so. Oh. It's because you, you took talk. it, and then. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was talking so who's at fault here? I'm sorry. Huh? Who's at fault? <laughs> it's so you know what, Dan. <laughs> no, no one heard mine. You know what? It's like it's literally now. like fucking. Lucky. You're yeah. like you my wife. Yeah. I Both of you boy. assholes. There's two conversations. Shut your faces. Listen, Dan. That's the, this is what the this is the problem right there. There was literally two people <laughs> not listening to what the fuck's going on. They're just talking about themselves. But it all comes down on the kid. Yeah, it all comes down on you because. But this is what you're doing now. It's like my wife <laughs> because I can't I can't just say something to you and then you get a silent score me and then stick it back in my face. Don's been teaching me. <laughs> I've been going to her house to get under your skin. She's you know like, how angry I would get if you were actually talking to Don behind my back? I would, what kind of scumbag would do that? I talked to Laura quite a bit. Whoa. We have a good relationship. Who's Laura? Laura. He's saying it wrong. Is Laura. Nate's wife. Nate's wife. My wife. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't really talk to her. Yeah. She hates her. <laughs> does Nate's wife hate you? No, she doesn't hate Joe. Why does she hate Joe? She doesn't. He thought she did. But why does she not but. like him totally? <laughs> uh, why does she not why does she not like him as much as she likes other people that you she know? She is a big fan of Joe. Uh really? yeah, she mm, is. That's know. she's not Joe was no, she was. Joe was at the beginning was, I think was like was. Was a is was a big fan of Joe. Well Joe used to be a little wilder. Well this <laughs> I had a drinking issue. Uh, this happened though the first time I came to Nate's house <laughs> to watch the national championship something championship. I struggle with words. Was that Alabama, Texas? Um, no, it was Alabama and uh, was that Texas? Yeah, it was Texas. We were all was, there. Uh, and uh, maybe that was that might have been before that. That felt like it wasn't that long ago. Anyways, I was like, "Yeah, go get them, you fucking yeah, fucking shit dick! Woo! Look at these cunts!" Because I thought we were watching the game, yeah. and then later on, Nate was like. Ah, shoot. And then he was like, oh, sorry, Laura. I know you, you don't like that language. No. Uh, your wife doesn't like swears. <laughs> no, not. I mean, maybe he not like, a Boston like guy said, screaming at a TV. Said, like, so maybe. Like how? You know, like, what do you mean? He said shit and then put a quarter in a jar and asked for forgiveness. Are you her. kidding me? Meanwhile, yeah. I've been saying it's fuck not, like yeah. 75 times. <laughs> it's true. Maybe if I had a warning. He goes like a, crazy. Like, a, hey, just a, a warning. Maybe right. don't. Uh, he didn't even say, look, my wife doesn't like that. Keep it down. Don't be. She doesn't your like cuss words. And I'm a, very, I'm a gentleman. I would have just. So you set him up. No, she's not. Set up. This you set him up. Cuss words. It's uh, it it wasn't even. It was typical Joe just thinking everybody hates him. That was the. <laughs> they ended up being like Joe just thought at the end of it. You thought everybody hated you there. Yeah, yeah that sounds about right. So that does sound about. It was right. never anything. Joe made it. You know. So she doesn't hate you. No, she was just mad that he was swearing like a fucking she wasn't banshee. Even really mad about it, Joe. I just, said banshee. Works Dan. all this up in his I head. Know. I still have the bandana from mine. <laughs> 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 but know, she didn't. Laura didn't like me because I cursed at first too, right? No, I don't think so. How did he did it? He did it in a. Voice. I met you at a Patrice party <laughs> gave with your wife. Yeah. How did she survive that? Uh, you know, she just did it, dude. She just mixed it up. I don't that know. was a like, fucking. She went by herself once with Jay, and uh, like they went, but. Really, I didn't. I was out of town. I never, I never got that impression from your your wife. I've met her twice. She doesn't have that. Oh, so he's making it up. Yes, he makes stuff. <laughs> up. We don't have to really know this. Like the he, part, the part where you swore and then apologized to her, that happened. That did happen. I, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, ah, oh, shit, and you're like, sorry, honey, and I was like, ah, oh, Jesus. Then I didn't say it like <laughs> it's just you just say I'm sorry. Do, like, I, do you not swear in front of your wife? No, no, not really. I don't try to do it. You know. Why? Why is that? Uh, it's not like a reason, but I don't, you know, I don't swear on stage or anything. You don't swear in life? No, I do in life, but like, you know. Not on stage and not in front of your wife? It. I can control it. And if I control it in other places, then I do feel like I'll never slip up like on stage. You don't, I don't want to. You don't swear at all on stage? No, unless it's like sometimes if it's a late show, like if it's midnight and, and, I, and I, have to make my, I have to make my... <laughs> I have to make my parking joke seem edgy. <laughs> like, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe I'm in a mood and I'm thinking about cursing. I just go out there and I say shoot or damn. I look or at H E double hockey sticks. I look at my fucking my cell phone, my flip phone, because I don't need all that other crazy app thing. You know what that does? All those apps take you farther away 
from the Lord. That's all they I, was, I, I need to make a phone call in a case of emergency and let my wife know I'm on my way home safely. Soda in the past has not even curbed it in public. We've all been hanging out. Yeah. Soda's just like, yeah. that fucking piece of shit. And we're like at the mall. Yeah. Like, all right. I remember that. Jesus. I think it was when we did that uh, Hallbrook. The yeah, yeah that's three. We're hanging up for the weekend, like walking around the mall, and so it was like, like yeah, oh, that down. fucking faggot. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're at like a Jillian's pool hall. Soda gets mad. I like when Soda gets mad. It's it's a total. I mean, he is turns into the Hulk. I remember when we would we were doing a show, and this it was playoffs, NFL playoffs. San Fran was in the playoffs, playing the Saints, and I took him to the mall, and I didn't know. I, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care about San Francisco. <laughs> and I have him going to Apple store and this store, and he's slowly getting fucking perturbed. And you can see him, and his brow starts getting wrinkled. He's a little 11 between his eyes. And then I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, dude, the, the, the game's on right now, dude. And he's really angry with me. Like, fuck, I, I really want to watch the game. Can we leave? And as soon as, as soon as I got him back to the room and I got him a little personal pizza... <laughs> Little happy Dan was back. But couldn't you just said at the beginning? I did. I want to watch the game. I did. I'm going to just watch it. That's why we went to Jersey early. That's my defense. I told Bobby, I go, listen, the Niners kick off against the Saints at 4:15. Can we get to the hotel by then? And Bobby's like, Dad, we're going to go to the i store. We're going to go to the Apple store. Dad, we'll be there soon. And then he's there. We met some nice fans, fans of Bobby's that were really nice. Mm -hmm. And then Bobby went through like. Every way to get a new... He got, like, what did you get, when a new I, hard drive? When I found out that it was annoying him... That's that we, when he made it. He that's when I, I decided to get a new hard drive and to find out how to uh, partition one. So, see, <laughs> so he, <laughs> makes, <laughs> he makes it sound like I just fucking lost my shit, but Bobby literally was dragging it out. And then as we're leaving the mall, he goes, you know what, dude? I want to go to Radio Shack. And I'm like, <laughs> it's going to kick off. It's going to kick off I in 10 so minutes. Mad. And then I was like, can we just go to the hotel? And then we get to the hotel, and he's like, look at you, Dad. You're all fine now. Yeah, because it's the first time in nine years that my favorite team ever is in the playoffs. Nate yeah. gets this as a well, sports fan. And I, I still didn't make it two years in a row. Actually, they did, but they didn't win it. Can I have the uh, that little napkin? I got a Godfrey booger coming out of my nose. Oh, I don't know what that means, but it sounds gross. Kelly, can you hand that? Or are it's you a very still high energy. <laughs> just going to walk around his face? A lot of crowd work. It's probably going to come out on its own. Oh, yeah. Hmm? No. Where Bye, you going? Jessica. I have to go back to the office. She didn't even oh. want to come in here. Why? Oh, she, you made her? Joe made her. Je Listen to me. Her, I invited her. No, Joe made her. Jessica, Joe can you sit here for one second, her. please? Can you sit for one second? Okay. I want, wh where do you work? Yeah. Sit down. Oh, boy. Right oh, boy. here. With these Jessica on. from? From uh, New Wave. Yeah, New Wave. New Wave Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Who is, uh, I'm a big fan of. Brian Volkweiss, uh, now uh, Maureen Tarrant, That's and right. uh, my my favorite in the world, uh, uh, Jack Vaughn. He is lovely. I worked for him over at Comedy Central too. He's, he's, the he's best. one of my greatest friends. I love that guy. Awesome. Would you be his godfather? I would. I would actually. Kids. I would be his godfather, and yeah. I would. I would actually make him my godfather. Whoa. Really? I, Jack Vaughn is one of my closest friends. One of I adore him. Oh, really. I mean, one of the truly nicest people in the business, but as a human being. I've been to Guatemala with him twice. I've trusted him with my life. I remember we were going to Guatemala the night before we were going and I, I read on a, a un, like a, 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 a official United States website it said, don't go. Like if you're American and you don't have to be there, don't do this. And um, there was a certain point of the ride with drive in and he goes, remember when I told you there's a certain point where I need you to just be aware and if something happens, just to hold on and trust me? I go, yeah. He goes, for the next 15 minutes, this road, um, on, we're on dead, dead dog highway. Oh. And he goes, just be, just be aware. If you see a roadblock, we're, not, we're, roadblock, we're not stopping. And I was like, okay. And then, I, you know, my asshole tightened up and he was taught <laughs> by Navy SEALs and shit. And then we, you know, dug, dug, dug. We fucking just, I'm like, why is it dead dog highway? Dug, dug, dug. We just start fucking driving over dogs. Um, but you yeah. totally trust him. He is one of the nicest guys on the planet. Yeah. And I love Maureen too. She's great. She is. She's awesome. She's great. I mean, it's no apostle, right, Nate? Right. But. <laughs> You're an apostle? Yep. Whoa. Where yeah, did you he, sign with apostle? He's uh, with uh, Bobby. Did it? He said he would always vouch for anybody, and he <laughs> vouched, no. well, he's with. Uh, they signed. Vouch for me. They sound. Uh, well, you already went with somebody. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, <laughs> hey, um, well, she. He's Abby. with Abby. Abby, Robinson. she went over uh, who's a, oh, she's amazing. 
She's fucking crazy. I mean, she's oh my God. I talked to her like day one and all of a sudden she had all this shit. I was like, holy shit, unbelievable. But it's good though. I'm like, I like that uh, New Wave and Apostle, two new management companies just yeah. popped up on, they're on both coasts and they're uh, unbelievable. Woohoo. Yeah. And they're and they unbelievable. Get, and, and oh. How long have you been with the company? Um, We started like July, but officially Jan 1. And are you, uh, you're a manager too? I'm working with Maureen. You you work with Maureen. Yeah. So you, you're going to be, uh, you're like a, a junior manager. I'm working on it. That's great. That's yeah. great. And who's your clients? Uh, I've, I've got a few, you know, in my back pocket and, and Joe's one of our new faves. Yeah. I love Joe. Uh, Shane Moss, Carmen Lynch, right. Sam Morrill. Gary <laughs> Goldman. Gary Goldman. Love Gary. He's great. I don't know any of the other people you told me about, but Gary and Joe are good. Yeah. Um, no, what what happened with Micah? Did Micah... We're just, we're, 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 we're Easy. No one, listens, no one listens to the show. Yo, big no ups to Brillstein. I just want to say what's up to everyone at Brillstein that's listening. <laughs> Who's with Brillstein? All right, we got Colin Quinn. Yeah. We got Samantha B., Jason yep. Jones, yep. Phil Hanley. Yeah. Dan P. Soder. P. <laughs> you. Boo. P. You. Boo. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, you seriously, go? though, Boo. if you read uh, Burn It. Part of this. Yeah, I love our names though. You got New Wave. We got flat Apostle. What? Here you go. New Wave and Apostle and then Brillstein and Gray. Yeah. It's actually not Brillstein. Sounds and Gray. like a tea. Yeah. And you know what? It's a delicious tea. That sounds makes like a, that money. It sounds know. like something you put in your mustache. <laughs> it's real cream. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> well, some of the listeners are very young. Nate, did you get it? Uh, the bro- I don't know. I was what are you? <laughs> what are you? I wasn't listening. <laughs> So now that you have, what is your, what is your, as a manager uh-huh. working, what is your, when you see a, a young talent, I, I, would, I really want to know this. Okay. What are you, what are you looking for and what do you, th- what is your job as a manager? What do you think your job is for a comic? Me specifically or managers, managers in general yes. are, are meant to, in my opinion, guide a career and uh, help get opportunities and pursue, you know, the most advantageous ones. So you have a plan for Joe. We're working on one, yeah. So when you see Joe, you meet with him, you find out what he's like, and then you put a plan together to uh, propel him or promote him and, and get him to a certain point. Yeah. So you have, there's there's a thing that you guys are like, this, we're going to do this, then this, then that, and then Joe should be there by now, hopefully, and then we're going to do this. Well, and it's all in tandem with Joe. Obviously, he has opinions about his career. And I've known right. Joe for ages from the Boston scene, and I've I love him for years. Really? You're from Boston? I went to school in Boston and Ooh. worked at the comedy studio. Oh, no shit. Yeah. yeah. So, you're, so the plan right now is to get him on New Faces. Uh, I did new did that last year. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! Did you try to, they're trying to get him a day job. <laughs> <laughs> so it's D'Angelo's working, <laughs> working on different projects. It's a marriage. You know, I know somebody the, on the one at the Mass Pike. You know that first exit when you mm-hmm. get off of uh, eighty four. I can hook him up. Great. Yeah. How does that sound, Joe? It's insensitive, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe's one of the uh, undiscovered talents over the last 20 years. Well, <laughs> That's how long he's been doing comedy. <laughs> how long have you been doing comedy, Joe? Oh, a long time. Let's not bore the yeah. customers with that sort of information. <laughs> you know what sucks, though? Now that I said New Wave and you guys are, you're going to have like a bunch of open micers trying to f- contact you. Oh, we do anyway. It's fine. Really? Yeah. Do you say, how, how, how do you say no to somebody? No. Um, I'm still learning how. You ignore the email. <laughs> it's that's what I'm fine. Again, I'm pretty new to this, but I think that a lot of it. Kelly, is don't tell her what they do to you. Yeah. No. I want to hear what she does. <laughs> I see that it's sent. I went like this. <laughs> I, 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 I responded to, and so I just emailed them again. <laughs> uh, she literally was answering. She went, "No, you ignore the email because <laughs> I've sent it twice." Yeah. Did you say well, little Italy? Hey, I, I ignore a lot of emails. All right, it, go ahead. I mean, well. Again, I, I, I sort of have, I know a lot of comedians and I know sort right. of their struggles and whatever. I think a lot of time the industry will just sort of stay silent so that if there's something they do want to bite on, then they are like, well, we just didn't answer. We didn't say no. Right. We're still, we're interested now. And so I get you. That, yeah, that's kind of cheesy. Kind of a, I, I agree. That's but, kind of CAA. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible business. Yeah. It is. I it, hope I'm a less horrible part of it. I love you. Oh, yeah. She's adorable. She's I'm in love with her. I think. I think that. I think that right now in the business, there's a lot of 
uh, when I was coming up, I think there was a lot of shitty, uh, how do I say it, more, more shittier <laughs> managers mm-hmm. uh, out there to, that deceiving people than there is now, I think. Well, it's unregulated. I mean, that's sort of the It's weird, the wild west. Yeah. Anyone yeah. can be like, I'm a manager now. So, but, but which na- is why I was always sort of like backing away from it because Joe was bothering me for years and years to be his manager. Oh. <laughs> what, were you really? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I love Jess. She knows comedy. We knew each other. I think you think I'm funny. Very much. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> great, great, uh, great to work with Jessica. That's so. I mean, yeah, but uh, now I think that with Apostle, I know Abby, uh, Serpico, Saletti, yeah. Bod, all those guys over there, and then you know I know Maureen and New Wave and and, and Vaughn. I know those guys really do give a shit about cre- not only just managing somebody, but they have the creative. Uh, production side behind yeah. them, which yeah. is I think you need now. You can't just get a manager that just hey I have connections. You know, Apostle produces shit. Right. Uh, New Wave produces. Sh- they make things. Yeah, I mean, we produce even not for our clients. Like we have yeah. produced fifty plus comedy specials. Yeah, I mean, you're not Apostle, so. but you do. Do <laughs> I'm kidding. You are better. We're new to the so, like, it's interesting. Yeah, you guys have a green screen. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, no, so that is, I think, an important. I mean, you, uh, bro, what's his name? Uh, it's actually the company's Brillstein. Brillstein. They still do Named Brill- after Bonnie yeah. Brillstein. Brillstein and Gray. Yeah. What's right. that? It's not Brill- Brillstein and Grace. It's what is Brillstein it? now. Brillstein. And they have production company behind them. No. So anyways, the <laughs> new wave. They just have a really great client list. Yeah. And works. a lot of good connections, Let's see too. if that works. Okay. No, I'm kidding. You want to put this down? <laughs> no. Get I, Quinn in here. Get Colin Quinn in here. Yeah. You mean Colin fucking 18 managers? Yeah. Quinn? <laughs> That's what I, I asked him. Colin, client. I've been with all of them, Quinn. <laughs> yeah. He told me somebody he was with when I opened for him. And I was like, you, were, you got managed by that guy? And he's like, I've been with everybody. <laughs> I've had like four. I've had managers. I've had... Uh, I didn't. I had New Wave Entertainment, not not New Wave, um, New York Entertainment, but I didn't have Barry Katz or Maureen. I actually went with Frosty oh. uh, when, like, I was going to be his first client. The Snowman? No. Well, that's his <laughs> actual nickname. Yeah. But Matt Frost, when he was with them, it was he was. Uh, I was going to be his first client. But like Maureen would always kick in and help out and if something happened or I got some I booked a movie and a TV show and they always had their input not Barry because I, I didn't want to work with him even back you then refused to? he said I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to be working with you it's going to be Matt and I go that's what I want I want nothing to do with you and then I, lo- I, I look I don't love Barry but I have nothing I have nothing against Barry he's been in my life for years I know Barry he's you know he's done nothing to me so I can't you can't hate the guy but um then I went with um then I went with, shit, the Steinbergs, oh, yeah. Jason, for a little bit, for a very small bit. And then I, I was the first one to fire them. Really? And then Burr, and then Blue, and then Blue. And I came on board once you guys left. <laughs> yeah. That was the I funny was part. Up. As soon as like me and Patrice and all these guys, all these young guys were like, just came in and yeah. went with them. I like Jason. They though. had the best. I think they had the best stand-up lineup at one point. They had Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, me, uh, D- Darnell Rollins, um, Ben Bailey was with them. Rich Vaughn, Ta- uh, uh, who's Big the J, Big Kurt, J, Becky Young, but uh, Todd, Ira Harry, Proctor, Todd, Todd, Todd Lynn, Todd right. Lynn. Oh, they had a fucking killer. That's a. Crazy there was a year when the Steinbergs had a fucking killer lineup. What'd you say? I was, was you Bolger can't wish. We no, can right. we can actually still hear you. Yeah. I, no, <laughs> sorry. Bolger was worried. There's no way. I don't know how you, to do this. you can never <laughs> whisper into a microphone. I'm sorry. Damn, Bolger. <laughs> you I hate black people. I don't <laughs> want to be here. No black people. I don't like being. I'm a lesbian. It's a good guy. I like puppies. I do like puppies. I was I was just kept saying stuff. Did she agree with one? I like puppies. I do. Um. Yeah, they had a killer lineup. They had a fucking just a just a death row records lineup, and and it was gone in a year, gone in a fucking. Mm. Bill, imagine fucking Billy Byrne, Patrice, on the same fucking whole. Then they had Todd Lynn, who had deal after deal. Yeah, Donnell was on the Chappelle show. I just got on Torgasm. I just got off Torgasm on HBO. Uh, Big J was killing it. He booked. It was fucking nuts. Why I mean, we, that's why we all went to Brazil. We're all kind of oh, yeah. fucking in the same. It was like this family, which I you guys, loved. You guys were like the Heenan family. 
<laughs> well, here's the thing that comics reference. don't do. We don't go on yeah. fucking... Yeah. That was a great reference. It was a great reference. Yeah. I'm standing behind that. Okay, go ahead. You want yeah. a badge? I'll like a Girl everybody. Scout? You well, want me to get I'm going to start with Kelly. Hey, Kelly, do me a favor. Get me a sash for Dan. Every time yeah, he gets sure. a good one, we're going to give you a little badge. That's yeah. fun. It's going to be baby blue. It's going to be baby blue. That's fun. Here's the deal. We don't we do not do that enough, which bugs me. We don't go on vacations together. We don't hang out together. We don't hang out... Once you have the kid, that'll probably start happening again. <laughs> go, go, go on vacation together? Hang out. I'd go on vacation with you, not your wife, because she'd you? fucking be mad at me the whole time. He no. said fuck 19 times in front no, of the baby. she would, you know? I would go on vacation. But did we, we... I mean, we went to Brazil. Of course. Look, we went to a third. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I know we went to a third world country for fucking vagina to pay for prostitutes. But other than that, that sounds we, awesome. We had Family. a lot. We had a lot of. Well, listen, we had a lot of good times. It wasn't all prostitutes. It was mostly <laughs> prostitutes. But do they all have shaved pussies? No, not all of them. Not in Brazil. Brazil Brazilian women, what they do is they let their leg hair grow and they dye it blonde. I know. I know, Jen, that face. I made the same face. Oof, but yeah. there's something sexy about it. Once you understand the culture and you're like, oh, it's just hair. It, it is some, I don't like hair and all that shit, too. But down there, they, they're on the beach. There's, they, blonde, they dye there. They bleach the hair right on the beach. And it's this beautiful, soft, blonde hair on their yeah. legs. I know. But How long it, were you down there? For a month? Two weeks. Get used to that? <laughs> he two weeks. Down yeah. there. Did you, like, have to, did you start a, going, I get it now. Bought a I would have to move there. To but I said that. it in Portuguese. <laughs> and he changed? Yeah. Well, I was there. cats can speak uh, yeah. Portuguese. I did. Uh, I was there for two weeks. I went twice for two weeks. And then I had to stop going. It was just like, the last time we got pulled over, there was a roadblock and we got stopped and I tried to assimilate and turn into a Brazilian, but I turned Mexican. I just kept going, see, see, see. And then the guys had guns on us. It was a fucking nightmare. Um, but it was a beautiful country. It was, <laughs> but we all went, we all used to hang out together. You guys, I don't see you guys doing that. You guys we are. Now they go to festivals. Yeah. You guys don't. Yeah, but you guys don't. Yeah, but fuck comedy. Do you ever just go away together for like a week to somewhere and hang out and just be I mean, originally funny what you were like I could hang out with Patrice we hung out for two weeks no comedy shows nothing at night and we hung out all day and just made each other laugh like the original reason why we got into this fucking business because of who we are I mean Norton me uh, Keith uh, we're trying to make it yeah but <laughs> yeah but first of all <laughs> You don't have. That's the thing is, you don't have. You can fucking still make it and go. We do all the hanging out, but I think you don't realize like how long we've been here. I've been doing it ten years now. Yeah. Like so, it's like you know, he's at like ten. He's been at like eight. So we have done that for a long time. Being in New York, <laughs> Joe just started, but <laughs> I was in New York for eight Joe's years. Joe's been doing it as long as me. Great. Every night <laughs> when you hang out in New York, you know how it is. Like it's 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 multiple. It's like dog years because you don't you don't see p- your regular friends at home. You don't see every single day. And we would see each other every single night for basically eight years. So yeah. it just ends up being like a lot. But now it's like you're going past it. You don't hang out like that. Well, no. Yeah. Here's the thing is that we, we did hang out every single night together. Me, Patrice, Voss, all those guys. But then it, it but now we're headliners. So you're not going to be together every night. Dan, when you start, you're starting to headline now. Yeah. Joe, you're going to start headlining in, what's the year? Three-year plan, right? <laughs> what's the plan? She, I've headlined plenty headlines. of shows. Yeah, She's yeah. headlines. Well, like my first weekend in 2009. So he's going to headline consistently. Ten years mm-hmm. ago. And a, in a I've few got a years. I've going. We're working on it. My, hey. last, my last headlining week was 2011, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, you guys are not going to be around each other all I the headline, time. I headline. You could have said that. You headline. You I'll do. Be, I'll be headlining yeah, the Tacoma me. Comedy Club May 31st, yeah, but here, June 2nd. But you guys are not going to be around each other. There's going to be a time where you're a little group of guys that meet up at the f- the club every night or at we hang used, out every week. It it's it's going to be yeah. gone. It already happened. LA. Yeah, we used to meet up at Barcelona Bar all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Almost every night. Right. And, you know, he moved to LA, and then Joe and I got sober. I, I don't like I this thing. I met you at Barcelona Bar. Yeah. We've had this thing before. It was a booze bag. What's up, generation buddy? happens. This happens with every generation and everything, but you We've done this before where it's like this. Yeah, we used to always bust balls. We hung out. We went on vacation. No, what you guys, this group doesn't do that. That's all we do. We're doing that right now. You going va- out right what va- now. When was the time last time you went on vacation together with all your friends? I don't. I don't well, we I, went to. I, Vandy, I can't afford to go on yeah, vacation. We went to Tennessee. You went to Boston with comics and hung out. I went yeah. to Thanksgiving yeah. with. Hang on. Hang, hang on. No, 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 no. I can't afford to go on vacation. Sh- I didn't sh- start in the sh- '90s sh- where you made eight hundred thousand dollars a year middling. <laughs> Are you done? What? 
<laughs> Are you done? Doing comedy? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting to that point. Hey. <laughs> What are you? <laughs> she's getting you a commercial fucking uh, agent as she speaks. I have a commercial agent. Yeah, of course you do. What do you think I'm fucking? You know, yeah, so he's gonna, like two for two with commercials he's auditions. Gonna, he's gonna do a Nationals. straw commercial. Uh, <laughs> 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 you saved it with that dumb act out. Uh, thanks. Um, <laughs> is that what you call it? Act out? Is that what your acting teacher told you? It's an act out. Um, you guys, Pretty you guys don't. When, when did you go? When did you go on a vacation together? A legitimate fucking not two days at somebody's house. I'm talking no comedy, no shows, no nothing, no show business at all. Not a fucking festival. I'm talking from a from one Saturday or one Friday to the next Friday, just hanging out, I've going to dinner, and that. relaxing. I've never done that. I've never done that in my I'm entire yeah, life with yeah. anybody. That's what I'm saying. I can't afford to do it, though. It's the, yeah, but it's not, it's not, there's nothing to afford. It is. Hustles. I can't afford to take the time off, and I can't Well, work harder at as a comic and make more money. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, I started I in fucking... Yeah, Get it together so the fucking kid can live life. We just started working together. We're I'd right. love to take a vacation. We'll I tried to set up a big lunch Sunday afternoon, but all the comics bail on me. Really? Yeah. Why are you going to get so defensive? You because did bail. He said it like, I didn't bail at all. Yeah, you did. He told me you bailed. He did bail. You bailed. <laughs> all right. he bailed. Phone time. Can I tell you what What's happened? What's phone time? Bobby, phone time. Everybody's phone, I'm phone gonna show you It's the a proof. new segment. <laughs> can I tell you what happened? I'm going to show you the proof. Hang on. Bobby, can I tell right you what happened? this liar. Can I tell you what happened? Yes. A few other guys bailed. Yeah. Soder didn't bail. And then as soon I as go, he, you know what? I go, yeah, fucking everyone bailed. And then I three minutes later, I go like this. You know what? We're still going to do it. And he goes, now I'm out. No, here's what happened. So um, this is April 28th. Don't, don't read the Sunday. fucking personal. Why don't? Uh, why is up. that not good, man? Don't I mean, think lunch is going to happen. Don't Everyone's bailing. What That's why you texted me. Stop one second, Dan, please. Joe, what is your thing about not reading a text? I would never read like if you said, "Don't tell anybody this," or you know, "My mom has cancer." I wouldn't I read mean, that. But well, if it's just a regular conversation, be- who cares? He's gonna he's gonna repeat well, I mean, it. Why? I'll what's the difference something. between reading it and then remembering from memory? What's the difference? He just doesn't like the fact that I'm gonna prove him wrong. Well, I might. No, he doesn't well, like the all, act out. I don't. <laughs> first of all, if I if I may have the floor. First yeah. of all, you know I'm fucking kidding. Yeah. Second of all, you bailed three minutes after you didn't actually bail. And third of all, I, I sent a private text message. I don't want to read to thirty thousand fucking people. But he's gonna he's go, he's not gonna if he reads it he or might. remembers it. It's the same exact. Fucking yeah, thing, it's not and one this, is actual proof. This Read is it. The proof. All right. So he texts me, "Don't think lunch is going to happen. Everyone's bailing." I write back, "What, assholes?" So I shouldn't head into the city. I have my backpack on. I'm ready to head into the city because you're gay. Well, also because I need to carry things, Bobby, like books mm-hmm. to help me. What act. books? The fuck? What are you? Tra- what are you, an immigrant? Stop drinking book. Uh, Rolling Stones book, comic books. There's a Rolling Stones book? Yeah, there's a book about the Rolling Stones. Right, why don't you leave that at your house near your bed and do it at night? Because Stop I don't walking read around. in my bed with a light like an old lady. I'm watching porn and jerking about it. <laughs> <laughs> like a young man. Yeah. Like, dude. Atta Jess, boy. Jess? Yes. Uh, can you stay or... I should probably go back to the office okay. as much as yeah, I don't go, want to. Could you go get me some work for God's sake? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I totally, I'm sitting there going, oh God, I made her stay here. No, no, I can't it was afford a to be here. Okay. Did you have, uh, uh, thank you for helping Joe. I, well, it is yeah. my pleasure. Will you please make him more famous than Dan? Okay. Can you please? But I like Dan too. We're listen, mutual San Francisco listen, fans. listen, mm-hmm. stop That's that. True. Don't do that. Okay. Not here. All right, listen. They go we, on vacation together quite a bit. I don't actually. want him more successful than Dan. I just want him up there with Dan. That's all. I want. I the, mean, the fact I, that you're even saying this is how does anger feel that he's saying? <laughs> I don't. I don't Dan. concern myself with anyone else's career it's anymore. It's not about verses. It's about getting him on no, the path no, that he no wants. There's no verses. I'm trying to go on vacation with the guy. <laughs> he's yeah, great. exactly. He's great. But Listen there is the whole generation <laughs> thing. You guys don't do it like we did. We went on vacations. We busted balls. We hung out. We all love each other. We, we hang that. out. We spend time. I never. I just, never said that. You said I just the said busting you, balls thing. You I said, said I never said busting it. balls. That was. It's on an episode. I forget what. They get the episode then, but don't read it. Don't. Don't play it out loud because that's personal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good zing. But uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's it's not. What, it's not a voicemail. Thank it's you for episode. thank you for letting me know I have a good one again. I, again, I take laughter. It's an episode. <laughs> but there is the whole thing. Nick does it too. And co- yeah, these guys they don't. Well, know of course, we're gonna do. This. Look, y'all man, got on airplanes in the nineties when it was like fifty dollars to fly. <laughs> you did <My> smoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were smoking, dude. That was a good game. Uh, Nick, but, pass me a Zippo. Some of us can't afford to go on vacations. That mean you guys were good friends Look, and we're man, shitty friends. I, w- I would, <laughs> I would love I'm to not, go on vacation. 
education. First of all, I'm not. I, I'm one of you guys. You guys are my friends. I'm saying that I you're not. We started. You're together. not my friend. <laughs> I remember bringing you along on gigs. <laughs> yeah. You're Don Gavin's kid. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, Is that your stepdad or mm, <laughs> one of them? <laughs> I. <laughs> the sniper's back. I, I would like to go on vacation together or do something together. Let's go on vacation. Yeah. Hey. I'd love to. Where do you want to go? Mm, Vermont. South oh, America. Man, let's go somewhere hot where we can go to the beach in that. Like Damn, Puerto Rico. Yeah. You guys should We're come to, to LA. I could get you First of shows. all, <laughs> hang on, guys. Let me just. Ooh. Guys, real quick. Let me just put a stop to this. Not you. Uh, no, no, Kelly. Of course you can. Here's the thing. If you come with us on vacation, yeah. say I rented a cottage. Yeah. Upstate, near a, yeah. on a lake, yeah. and we're we I I invite all you assholes up there for mm. four days, yes. just awesome. like the Patriots playoffs. Okay, no, I'm serious though about this. <laughs> oh, okay. If I get this and we all go, you bring your kids. You can come up, bring your girls. There's a lake, a canoe. Kelly, if you go up, yeah, everybody has to bring a girl because if it's just single dudes and you I'll bring a guy yeah you gotta bring something because right. people are gonna try to molest you while no, you're sleeping no one yeah. will Kelly and I'll Dan are both single nah. could, <laughs> the last thing I wanna hear is <laughs> <laughs> you can make a anyways. new baby no that's I'm, right. I'm gonna have some Filipino we have lady to, we have like, to sit there. they buy me for four days <laughs> what? I'm up here for a day with him. I'm all, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> we're clearly we're going to go knock on a, like like Soda's door and we're like, look, Kelly's saying you raped her last night. Let's just talk about it. We need to get it out there and figure out if it went awry. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'll bring my guy. Jesus. <laughs> so when are we doing it? Let's do it. I want to get a date. I'm, I'm I gonna really do this. You're I, paying for a I'm vacation. Gonna, hang on, time. man. Chill out. I didn't say I'm paying you for it. You said pay. The podcast should pay for it. It's that's a write Hang off. on, man. <laughs> that's a write off. I'm saying that I get the place, but I'm not going to supply fucking food three meals a day. I mean, we we, we all pay. You guys bring your own. I'm out then. But <laughs> no, I'll save. I want three meals okay. a day. You, well, you you what is this fucking camp? Yeah, it's camp. We should do a camp. A yeah, summer camp. camp. We teach comedy at camp. The YKWD summer camp. Oh, my God. I guarantee Dan would cancel because of some guy code VH1 thing. Oh, my thing. God. If, yeah. we, if we go to all camp. That, all that dude, I, I, dude, I got to get fucking $400. Yeah. Can They're we paying do? me $25. I'm just sandwich. saying, look, guys, you should take a little time out to maybe go away together and not do, and not do the fucking business. And, and remember why you're funny. I mean, you're funny from hanging out with your friends before busting ball, hanging out, joking, and having fun. Isn't you that what this show that's is? That's what we do. Yeah. No. Nate and I were cracking up last yeah. night. We had a great I, al- I almost threw yeah. up. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Making fun of Vecchione. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? <laughs> he locks all his doors <laughs> off, in his bedroom. I didn't tell my roommate that he was crashing on my couch. And I, Vecchione and my other roommate, we were talking about waking up my roommate's girlfriend who lives with us to wake him up and be like, hey. Nate sleeping on the couch, and then Nate pops from around my back. It's like, "Hey, Pete, thanks for the book." And then we knock on Vecchione's door. And he's got the twenty locks, like, "Clink, clink." You just hear it because if you know Vecchione, it's fucking perfect. Yeah, he's in there and just fucking the strangling somebody. No, he answers the door with a gun, and then he goes, "Oh, sorry, I thought you guys were bed bugs." <laughs> <laughs> Vecchione's leather coat the other night. It's the best. It is. It's like he really wanted that coat, but they only had triple X left. Oh. So he's like, eh, fuck it. it. It looks like he's got guns under his. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Like yeah. he's auditioning it's, for a cop thing. Yeah. It doesn't fit. It's and he just, borrowed someone's jacket. He goes, I got this audition. I need a jacket. Come on. It's a cop. Who's got a big Give leather jacket? Uh, at Amy's it, party. He looks like he's wearing a couch. He was standing up. <laughs> he was standing in the corner. Like, you know how yeah. everyone's on the dance floor? And he just look up and Vecchione's in his. Got his drink and he's just like looking over that long leather jacket, uh, that leather duster. He's like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's already barrel chested, like a, like one of those villains from the forties. But that <laughs> coat was just stupid. No, oh, it's great. Stupid. I think it's a nice. Coat. I don't even know if it's leather. It is. Is it? I got gifts for you guys. What? Jess, you gotta go. I do. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm gonna give you an out right now. Thanks for coming by. My friend, it was a thanks pleasure. For, thanks for thanks for, thanks for taking care of uh, Joe, he my is pal. The best. Oh, you're the best. I love all you guys. You're all very funny. All right, well, good. I'm glad you had a good time. Thanks for. Manager is that? (laughs) We're all the best. (laughs) Jesus. That's gonna be that's gonna be Jess at a pitch meeting with NBC. (laughs) Joe wrote a story. It's it's really good. I mean, it's as good as everybody else's. Uh, Joe would be great for this part, but there's a ton of other people that would be great too. Yeah, (laughs) not even not even just with this management company. Apostle's good. I mean, you got to really look at everybody because there's so much talent. Pearlstein has some great talent. Have you ever looked at Pearlstein's roster? 
Lester. Have you looked at Dan Soda? I mean, he's as tall as Joe. Oh. His eyes are a little nicer because there's no glasses covering them. Whoa. Oh. I want to bring him in. Can't, this can't you know what, judge. guys? Like, let's just get out of here. She's like, you should really check out Kelly Festuca. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh boy. All right, well, thanks, Jess, uh, Thank for you. coming in. Thanks, Jess. Tell, Maure- tell Maureen I said hi, all right? I shall. Have fun, guys. Bye, Jess. Bye, Jess. Bye. Go 49ers. Woo. Niners. Niners. Mm. All right. Hey, what's up, fuckers? Make sure you go to my website, robertkellylive.com, and check out all my dates, my tour dates, at robertkellylive.com. Dot com. It's a fucking fantastic little website for you. And you can find out that I'm going to be at the uh, Governor's Brokerage Comedy Club, Belmore, New York, May 10th, May 11th. Comics, Foxwoods, 27th, 28th, 29th. You know what, dude? Podcast show. Louis Gomez, Kelly Festuca, myself will be there all weekend. We're doing a bunch of shows at the Foxwoods, the 27th, 28th, 29th. And then we're doing a nasty show uh, on Saturday. So come down. Spread the word, Connecticut, Boston, Rhode Island. And we're going to be doing maybe a podcast at some point, either after one of the shows or before. We'll let you know as, as the date gets closer. And then I'm going to Just for Laughs for a long fucking time. A long fucking time. Holy shit fucking time. The 16th of July <laughs> to the 28th. I don't even know if that's legal. So there you go. Go to my comedy fucking website for more information, bio, photos, love, whatever you want. Facebook, Twitter. Make sure you uh, spread the word about the show. Come see us live. Support us live. It's always great when you, uh, the YKWD fans, come up after the show and, and, and let us know that you were there. Uh, yell out, dude, at the show. I'll know that's you. Or, or a fucking retarded person. So there you go. And go get my app on iTunes. Robert Kelly Live app. It has the podcast on it, all my dates, right in the palm of your hand. And it's award winning. So check it out. Android, it's coming soon. My developer, I, I think he, I mean, he doesn't talk to me anymore, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. So who, what the fuck are you going to do? But get the app if you have an iPhone. And get the Riotcast app if you have an iPhone. Get it all. It's all free. Free, 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 free. Fuck, it's free. God. So, there you go. Dan, take over. <clears throat> we weather, are weather. back. We are. Do, what weather? Do weather. Just like the weather update from like a radio. Okay. Uh, it's currently 17 past the hour. You're listening to the YKWD podcast. The weather outside is 67 degrees with a barometer of. Uh, oh, and we're back. Sponsors. Sponsors, tweakedaudio.com. Go there, buy headphones. I'm going to do it today because my headphones that I bought at the airport broke. Go to tweakedaudio.com. Bunch of different headphones, affordable headphones. You should definitely pick it up. Also, Amazon. Go to what? Three for money. Three for money. Money for three. Joe, no one ever goes this way. way All right, go ahead, Joe. And it makes more sense, you dumb dumb. Hey, now I don't let you go. Now go that way. Call me a dumb dumb. Now I'm gonna fucking alpha mail it. Tweak audio. You can get wood headphones, and there's there's a lot of stuff at tweakedaudio.com. Also go to riotcast.com. Backslash. Watch out for the thing that's very expensive. Robert Kelly, and click the Amazon button. Make sure you buy all your stuff on Amazon. Through, you know, this pitch is just not working. I'm like go us on Facebook. Go to tweakedaudio.com. Facebook. Tw- like us on Facebook. Tw- Check us out on MySpace. Yeah. No MySpace. We don't have Friendster. a MySpace. Friendster. No. Yeah. Go to tweakedaudio.com. 33% off. And go to Amazon.com. Riotcast.com slash uh, Robert Kelly. Go to our page and uh, use the Amazon link right on the page. And uh, every time you do that, every time you buy something. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got to was close enough to put my finger in his butt. Uh, I'm going to throw a pair of scissors. I mean, that's just extremely careless. And um, hang on. Well, let me get this out. Shut up, everybody. Amazon.com on the link. Use Gamefly.com. Gamefly.com slash YKWD. It is the Netflix of gaming. Um, if you guys are video, if you play video games, make sure. Come on, get out of here. I'm trying to do this and you're fucking up. Go in the other room, though. You keep doing stupid shit. And last week you fucked up my video, too. What video? My tech talk video. I can't use it because of dick shit. 
<laughs> fucking asshole. You know, this is how I get money for the show, Joe, and you're fucking it up. <laughs> you're not show. taking it. Yeah, I make, this is how we make, they so I can buy this shit. I got flew in. Flew in. <laughs> I got flew in. What the fuck? I don't think this show makes people dumber. I got flew in. I flew in. Honey, I got to dumb it down for the show. I got real. Give me some words that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Try gonna... flew in. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like it. Sounds wrong. You know how dirty they are. They're filth. Um, All right, so we got some gifts from fans, Woo. man, which I'm very excited about. Kelly's yeah. is just a severed head. <laughs> just, just in the back. I just, just in the back. In the back. <laughs> Some psycho that's in love with you cut off the head of that girl that you hate in Australia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember from, that story? Yeah, from Big Brother. Oh, oh, shit. Let's not talk about that again. Ew. There's Ooh. Australian listeners are starting to pick up. Oh, boy. Do oh, the boy. Weather I've been watching Brad. Do, Do the weather again now. Do the time and weather it's, now. It's uh, currently 21 after the hour. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're back. Hey. Here we go. All right. We're back. I'm sorry about that. Listeners, I hope that didn't. I hope that didn't make you enough angry enough to tweet that the show sucks. This show like, sucks. <laughs> you leave all of that in. Yeah. Whoa. Well, here's the deal. I don't edit. Do you not any- go like, hey guys, if you want to go to the bathroom or something, go ahead now. No. Do you need to go? No, no. I'm saying the listeners. Um, no. Because they have a pause button. Yeah, yeah pause it. So they're gonna pause and then listen to that. You could just. They say, love listening to all that background shit. They love it. Look, man. I, like I, look, here. here's the deal. It is this show. <laughs> it, it, here's what happens with this show. We started out. I don't plan anything. We go. We wind up talking, but the people I have on the show, I, 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 I depend on you being fucking interesting enough to and, and funny enough and smart enough, and we just go. And sometimes we fall off the rails, I'm like we just did because of Joe yeah. and Joe's and Kelly's got to get up and walk somebody out <laughs> and all this horseshit that happens. But you guys hung in there. And you, yeah, you kept, it it. Going, we kept it going, and we're we back. We're back on track. We're back on track. So, Joe's coming back right now. He's fucking knocking shit over again because he's being spiteful. <laughs> and here we go. So, Heather Graves, who is a big supporter She's of the show, awesome, unbelievable. I got uh, a nice package in the mail. Uh, Nate, I'm sorry you're not involved in this, oh, but this crazy. is for Joe, Dan. Kelly and myself. Yeah. Um, some really cool hats. Oh, hey, wow. that's yeah. awesome. There you go. Um, it's a Boston on. Strong hat. Aww. It has the B's logo and it says uh, B Strong. There you go. It's the Red Sox logo. But Aww, that's great. It's the B's logo. What is it? The, the bees. bees are the Bruins. Yeah. Ah, fuck off. Oh, I, love ah, it. I knew that. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Oh, Number four seed, getting ready to rough. make a playoff run. That's very nice. Thank you very much, She's- Heather. She's really cool, great. right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's all right. Look, they looked uh, like they did a lot of fun. <laughs> they looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> Dude, you I know what, Nate? Honestly, no, no. It just can't fit my head. It doesn't matter. No, you can't okay. give away a present on the air. You're <laughs> yeah. a fucking no. stupid. Well, he's doing, he's it sad. doesn't matter. Uh, you giving away. fucking ass-kissing piece of shit. It was a bit. You really are just a fucking ass-kissing. I've got exactly what he wanted Oh, my God. Perfect. That was perfect. Stop. Shut up. What? Yeah. Uh... Uh, someone giving away something on air. One time I did uh, l- like a local news thing in Syracuse to promote a show, oh. and this guy was uh, there, and he brought his wife on. This woman made all these bags, yeah. And then uh, she goes, and the 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 news guy just sit there with his wife and just goes, "Oh, here's a bag. You would love one of that." And his wife goes, "No, I'm good. We have a, I have enough bags at home." <laughs> like and just did it on air. It was like the most awkward. It was like just yeah. take it, and just, then yeah. afterwards be like just throw it away. Yeah, who cares? Well, first of all. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Dan, we get it. Maybe you don't like the hat. I like the hat. I love the hat. You don't like the hat. I love the hat. I wasn't saying I didn't love the hat. He fucking I wasn't saying I didn't like the hat at all. This That's hat, not true at all. This hat doesn't fit my head at all. I'm still going to wear it because Heather gave it to me yeah. and out of pride for what, what it represents. Be strong. I think he's for the That's, Boston thing. Yeah, this, I think he's glad it happened. <laughs> this cocksucker, as soon as he gets it, you know what? I'm going to be the, the better guy and here's my hat. Fuck you. Yep. If yep. that was anything you liked, you wouldn't have. You'd be I like, really appreciate if, that. If that was a, this is fucking. I was. If just, that was an iPhone fucking five, you'd be like, ah, fuck Nate. Fuck you ain't getting mine. You're a first class jerk. Yeah. Fuck everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. <laughs> fuck all these guys. There you go. Like I'm going to give this to Nate. This Good. is for you, and I'll give it to Nate. Okay. Oh, man. I want that. So much anger. I love it. I'll trade you. <laughs> oh, here it is. Right here. This is Nate's. This is actually uh, Dan to you. 
Here's a, a, a personal note. Should I not read this? <laughs> <laughs> read, it to, read it to Nate. Read it. Um, so you don't, do you want this, Dan? Yeah, Or course. should I give this to the fucking oh, children's that's, hospital? That's really sweet. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a lot of sick kids that probably could use a toy. So. Did she give, us give it, everything in the box or was that from someone else as well? well give it to the cancer hospital. Soda will get it soon. So I'm actually really freaking what? out. About that. That's <laughs> oh. What, are you sick? This is actually... <laughs> I've been going to the okay, Don't read a text, but we Levon can't. Thomas. Soder does have yeah. cancer. Guys. I've been freaking out about <laughs> cancer in, in fucking... You'll get I, cancer I, for that. Um, Levon Tom... Le, Levon Tom... Tom and... Tom, my son. Oh, wow. I read that. Levon. Re- sent us this great package of gifts for all of us. <gasps> hey, this is for Dan right there. Danny? <laughs> Pass oh, that to Dan. Oh, on it, too. Levon Thomason. Oh, that's nice. Levon Thomason. Yeah. Right? That's yeah, not hard. Yeah, but uh, it, a little weird. Thomason? Yeah, Thomas. Le- Levon know. Thomas, I would go a little easier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a Levon your, Thompson. You write her back. Le- Le- Levon Thompson is nice. Levon uh, Thomason, Thomason is kind of one step yeah, too yeah, far, yeah. I yeah, think. They're an asshole. <laughs> I don't think they're a good person. Excuse me? Like every time she says her last name, they go, Excuse me? Oh, Levon was sweet because he messaged me for the address. And he said he had some stuff going. This is his stuff. Uh, right. that's, that's, nice. that's really sweet. Thanks, <laughs> Levon. <laughs> Levon Thomason. Hey, actually, that was Allie, this is for you. <laughs> it's just a you bunch of chocolate. Oh, that's so funny. Hey, this all this chocolates for Fat oh. Kelly. Try to eat it on your left side. Oh. You can yeah. fill up that tip. Stick them in your bra. Oh. That's for me. Yeah. And then, uh, so the, everyone got Alice got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Well, we have. Well, he bought me the turtles because I have a joke. Yeah, exactly. So Which that was very great. nice. And there's oh, a bunch of other sweet. stuff in here that we can. There's some comic books. I don't know if you oh, like comic books. Um, Joe. Do you like comic books? Uh, I don't, but I, I like... But I love comic books, Bobby. I love them. I read them every day. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. I, I have every some, day. I, listen, I have some comic books that we're going to give you, oh, Nate, after I the mean, show. I would take them. I would That's love awesome, it. Dude. I, I would take all of them. I re- well, yeah. I'm not going to give you all of them, pretty, but I'll give you some of them. No, you know, the fans are unbelievable. They, I read personal notes. Go ahead, read it. Because I'm not worried about it. From Levon Tom. But Tom Levon Thomas had a really funny line where he's like, here's a Ninja Turtles toy. Now, how about you go get lost in the garage for an hour? That's oh, funny. That's that is adorable. Funny. Really funny. I didn't Sweet. even connect with the He delivered it better than... He sent us this great box. Let me tell you something. I really do appreciate that's a pretty uh to for somebody to go to the, the put all the all the trouble to put this in type out these notes put them on the stuff yeah, yeah. send it to us uh really appreciate it so levon and heather thank you heather even yeah well i don't know if you thank heather now i was trying yeah. i mean no, yeah. i thank heather for i want to thank levon for the oh Ninja stop Turtle. Yeah, first of all <laughs> I, but, no, I, mean, I get hammered down and then i was like yeah. i feel bad because you gave me a gift yeah. and i was trying to be nice i get hammered too you called me a fucking gorilla but that okay was funny. Uh, that so was funny that was it doesn't mean. matter sensitive twat you get yeah, you gave a hat away and on the air I didn't give it away yeah, you, as soon as you this dude you did just take the fuck could you just take the hit i'll take the hit and just shut up all right this is the language. Heather, I'm wearing my hat. Fucking <laughs> whining cunt. That's really well. Yeah, this is the type of language my wife would not put up with. It's, you know, On vacation. Like On vacation. Two maybe. days in, I'd be yeah. fucking calling him a whining <laughs> cunt fly fishing. I just want to let the fish go. I want to go camping so we can do team building exercises. You want exercises. my fish? I just can just get You want my fish? I just call. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. but, yeah, he would. Yeah. No, you can have my fish. I, I mean, I caught it. Yeah. I, I don't need a rainbow trout. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you going to put it on your head? I'm trying to see if it can get big enough. Yeah, it can. It can. We can slice You're the sides. Like I love that you yeah. sent me a hat. Like a this science is awesome. project. Yeah, like it's very great. The biggest head they've never seen. So you know? sweet. I think it's going to fit. I, I would like to put a vacation together with uh, us. <laughs> I, I'd put it. Oh, I'd say for it. I'll quit smoking and I'll. It, fit, hey, like it fits perfect, Heather. So thank you very much. <laughs> it does not fit perfect at all. Hang on one second. That's the point. You're not supposed uh, to say that. The propeller must have fell off in shipping. Yeah. Listen, man. It's suspension <laughs> of disbelief. All right, listen, Heather. I'm going to say this to you. The hat doesn't fit his head. <laughs> There's no way. He looks like he a boy that just took growing pills. <laughs> Let me see. Is that the farthest it can go? It's good. Really? I like it. I like it. It does not on? fit good. He, your head is too big no, for that hat. I think it fits good. I, lo- I like that. That looked good. It was sitting up on it, right? Yeah, let me it looked uh, nice. You know? Yeah, boom. Yours fits, Yours perfect. fits perfect. Mine doesn't fit good. Yeah, it great. looks terrific. It just goes over your forehead. Mine I can't. I can't see out of my right eye when I have this on my head. <laughs> you just went down an economic bracket, though. It just kind of made. <laughs> did it make sense? No. Yeah, it did. It made sense to me. I don't. It did. I did. It just I liked it. Economic. Break. She should have said tax bracket. Would have been funnier. But she's been in the business two years. What are you gonna do? All right. So listen. Put it on Dan. 
Aww. I think he's making his head bigger on purpose. (laughs) Yeah, you're like OJ with the glove. It would fit. Yeah. Just mush it on. No, this is not. I didn't realize your head was so big. That's normal. That's how you wear a hat. That's not how you wear a hat. Yeah. Yeah. I can actually feel my pulse when I wear this hat. You look like the kid from the Sandlot. (laughs) The one that moves in? Hey, Mr. Oh, all right. Here we go. Focus up. Kelly, put that thing down, would you? We are focused. Um... (laughs) Uh, no, you're not. You're all over the fucking place with these stupid hats. Let's move on. on the gift Shut stupid your hats. fucking mouth. Um, I we were doing the segment that you started. Is this tech talk? <laughs> <laughs> what? I really did. I thought we were doing gift giving. We were making j- jokes about the gift giving. I thought we were doing a great job. I really want to eat some chocolate. But it's I okay. want. <laughs> All right, listen. So I gave all the gifts out. Are you happy with everything? It's fantastic. Yes. Very nice of people so to send. Uh, if you guys want to send stuff to us or individuals, whatever, everybody. Nate didn't get anything, but what are you going to yeah, do? Yeah, you know. Um, I don't six, have a joke that you can. Six seven six A Ninth Ave. Uh, number four two four New York New York one zero zero three six is the address. Uh, please don't send any fucking deadly poisons. Um, and we did tweak Dottie. We did all this shit, Foxwoods. Uh, yeah, we're having a YKWD show at Foxwoods. Me, uh, Louis J. Gomez, and Kelly Festuca, yeah. the twenty June twenty seventh, twenty eighth, and 29th. We're going to be doing a show, and we might be doing a podcast during the day or after one of the shows. I haven't figured it out, so you guys can come down to check it out. So make sure you spread the word. The June twenty seventh, twenty eighth, and 29th, me, Louis J. Gomez, and Kelly Festuca will be at Comics at Foxwoods. Uh, doing a YKWD show, and then we're doing a nasty show, Saturday Night Late Show. Um, there'll be another comic added, maybe two. Uh, I'm going to find out who, is, who that's going to be for the uh, nasty show, but it's going to be a blast, so make sure you check that shit out uh, and pass the word and fucking do all that shit. So, anyhow. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going on holidays. I... <sighs> I would love to. I would love to take you guys on a holiday. And if I ever rent the place, I would invite you guys. But I'm here's not going if you call it a holiday. <laughs> if, <laughs> because you're racist against other countries. But mm-hmm. I, you wouldn't be able to go anyways because I'm not gonna. You're not gonna fly here to go on holiday. I think Joe would go. I'm learning so much about Joe. Joe hikes. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm a hiker too. I love hiking. I have hiking boots. Some good hikes this this weekend. There's I no just bought, way. I you should see the hiking sticks. I, I just because you have the stuff. I, I went hiking. <laughs> I own a baseball glove as well. <laughs> I went. <laughs> he has a crocodile knife too, don't you? Uh, that was, she, you know what bugs me about you, Kelly? Your excitement over good ones. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> fuck, you know, right, it's a, it's a good one, but then they don't need to flip the fuck out. I know you don't get them often. <laughs> you have to live vicariously through other people's good ones. I, I went hiking all last year. I, I go up, my uncle has a place in Meredith, and that's all we do is I hike and fish. What's your uncle's name? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, me and Don, that's all we did last year. Last year, I went on one of the most, it was a four-mile hike. It was a tough one, but at the top... You there's a pond, uh, and I went fishing. I brought my fishing rod up, got to the top, and there's a cabin. You can actually get some food um, where they cook like soups and breads and all this shit. You can for like a couple bucks sit down and have your lunch. And then I went fishing, and you walk around the uh, whole pond, and then you go down. It was amazing. I love I think hiking. You just described a movie you saw. I swear to God, I love hike. Do you, uh, where do you the hike? River runs through it. Where do you hike? Uh, <laughs> Legends of the Fall. <laughs> I, hiked, uh, I hiked this past weekend at uh, it's called Indian Ladder Trail upstate. I was trying to find something to do during the day on the road. Right. You oh, know. so you do it on the road when you're yeah, when on you're. The road. Where the fuck are you? You upstate? Where upstate? It was in Albany. The he comedy works. Uh, what's with, the, uh, the Nick Griffin? What's the tremendous. Poconos? He does the Pocono circuit. <laughs> the, vo- where the vaudeville now? Uh, Catskills. I think Cat is what you're looking for. Yeah. Catskills. Man. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that would have been fun. It would have been would fun. It would have been pretty good. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do? So you were up at you were in Albany, and then you found a hiking trail. How far away was it? It was like a half hour. So I've you, done, there's some great ones up there. If you drive like two hours north, it's like the most spectacular. You know, New York what? is the best state. New York is great, but I love New Hampshire too. But New York, New Hampshire have, is. But I love the White Mountains to me. It, I love. That's I lo- what they have. New York State has New York City, of course. Mm-hmm. Then you go out Long Island, the Hamptons. Then mm-hmm. you have the Finger Lakes, the Adirondacks, and then the Niagara Falls. Okay, well, New England, I think not as not as Massachusetts well, New a region. But I know, but New England, I was going to say that it's not it's not Massachusetts and New Hampshire 
you kind of have the same thing. It's not as right. you have Boston, which I love. You have Hampton Beach and all that horse shit, and right. you know, and Cape Cod, which is kind of like Long Island. And then you have uh, yeah, well, the mountains, the White Mountains. Place. What's that? New England's my favorite area of the country. What is that? New England. Oh, New England. Yeah. I, you were just saying it too fast. Um, New England. <laughs> New Orleans. No. It's like New Orleans. But no. I, I haven't gone. I, I'm afraid to go and find hiking trails up in New York because I'm not familiar with it. I know the White Mountains. I, my whole right. life I've been going up there. I'm a little, I'm a little, it's a little weird that I, I <laughs> to go up there and, and hike. I'm afraid. You get a map I don't and bring think a cell you know phone. the White Mountains. I do, man. We could just drop you off in the White Mountains. Nothing. <laughs> like and Bob, you could get down. Bobby would lick his thumb. Yeah. Um, I, Dad, we're about three miles south uh, east uh, of Champion Lake. I'll we should you, do a video. I, we should do a I have video of out. me coming down. I want down. you to get out of the White Mountain. <laughs> when I, I'm going to explain something to you, Nate. Surviving. When I was in when I was in juvie hall, um, <laughs> what they used uh, I swear to God, they used to take us as a group up into the White Mountains to Mount Cannon, um, Mount Centipede, which is halfway up, and as these little fucking trips to kind of give us, they called it normalization. So we weren't just locked up all the to time. To ease you back into the real world? Not just to keep us, our brain, you know, yeah. not like we're real prisoners. They bring us to the top of the mountain. I mean, they brought us up to the top of Mount Cannon. They didn't think this through. They were like, okay, we're going to walk down. And everybody kind of got paired up. But as soon as they were like, okay, go, we just fucking screwed. We just started running down the mountain. And we all got separated. We got lost. in the actual mountain that I fished on, the lake... I, the last time I was there, when I was in juvie hall, when I was 13, me and this Puerto Rican kid walked down the mountain, came on this lake, stole a canoe, tipped it over in the middle, we're fucking laughing our asses off, found a counselor, this girl, crying. She was just crying on a rock halfway down this mountain, and we had to take her with us, and I was pretending to like grab dirt and like an Indian smell shit, like I didn't know where I was going, and then we just kept walking and walking, and you finally come out on the highway, 93, and this van was just picking little juvenile delinquents up at like five. The sun was did, setting and it was just grabbing people. Did this prison shut down because they kept losing? They were like, oh, we keep losing prisoners. They like, what do y'all do? <laughs> yeah, well, we take them on a mountain and we let them run. <laughs> <laughs> and then we never bring any of them back because they're all gone. It was, uh, I, I, dude, it was, uh, there was lockup that you didn't get out of. But there was a bunch of different types of juvie halls. Like the catch and release. Some of them, some of them. When this was <laughs> this was called NFI Shelter Care, and they had a, a, a unlock policy. There's no doors were never locked, windows were never locked. You can run, uh, but they had this reward policy. The longer the longer you go without a run, the more cool shit everybody gets. So kind of everybody kept everybody in check. So 30 days without a run, we had this big lobster party. Everybody gets lost. So they did this weird cycle that worked. So you know everybody the the older kids that were there. I would say the tougher kids would keep everybody else in check because they, they had to be there for a couple, a year. And they were like, fuck you. I want lobster at the end of the month, motherfucker. They used to take us to the beach and, and let us go because... These are the vacations you were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some, where you and Patrice went on vacation? Was some it? of the places. Some of the places were fucked up. I mean, some of the places were bad. Like, you didn't, you didn't get the... Fu you didn't go anywhere. And you got the, the shit kicked out of you and... It was, you know, they were scary, but so most of the places I was at weren't that bad. Like this place, NFI Shelter Care was the shit. It's still up there now. It's in the middle of uh, the woods in Middleton. Um, but they used to take us up. I remember I learned how to b box walking down a mountain with a black kid from yeah. Roxbury. Mount Summit. I think it's, is it Summit? What's the mountain? There's a mountain halfway up. Oh, up. well, apparently you were born in the White Mountains. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I, I remember like me and this kid, we all went up to the top of the mountain, and we were coming back down. We got lost again. Me and this black kid were coming down, and he was beatboxing, and he taught me how to do it. And I still know to this day. Beatboxing. Beatboxing. Beatbox. Beatbox. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. Oh, Joe almost just said the N word. No, I did not. You were thinking it. No, I'm always thinking it, but I didn't say it. So yes, I am a hiker. I, I love that's hiking. What he called Niagara Falls. <laughs> <It's> like, wait, <laughs> what? I like fly fishing too. I can't wait to go fly fishing. I own a boat. Oh. I have a little. I have a fishing boat. <laughs> you come from old money. Not that fucking boat. 
<laughs> Not the boat I got here in. I don't come from old money, asshole. It's, it's a mock. blow up. <laughs> this <laughs> oil painting of Bobby's great grandfather looks exactly <laughs> like him with a monocle and a mustache. It's ill. It's a it's a blow up boat. It. It's a, expensive though. It's like nine hundred bucks. <laughs> you guys want to go on a boat? <laughs> dude, I'm about to pass out, dude. <laughs> You're going to start blowing it up a month in advance? <laughs> Are you sure you want to go on holiday? <laughs> I, like that, I like that Joe looks like a fucking rancher in Wyoming. <laughs> with his hat. Belt. He's holding like his band. He's well, that, way out. That's my point about Joe is that he is a country dude. He likes... He likes I found out Joe likes yoga. Loves it. Which I didn't know. Uh, and he likes hiking. I mean... Have we told that's the, not yoga Have we told your commitment to yoga story? Um, I don't think so. That was my commitment to my, my girl. I did yoga uh, almost blackout drunk. <laughs> I was I saw you on the train. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That was yeah, that was quite a I, day. I got I off work. Died. I got off work at the restaurant. Right. It's like six PM I got on a crowd. This was a week ago. <laughs> Joe's no. off the wagon and I'm back at dusk. Oh, almost said it. You've said it before. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so I get off the train. That's not true. You you're not off the wagon. No, not no. at all. Oh Jesus. No, that's like amazing. Yeah, you look great. Me look at he looks fantastic. Look at this him. This probably... Look at his muscles. Joe, was this five years ago? Four years ago? Uh, I was dating Becca, so it was like 08, 09. Yeah. Five yeah. years ago. I, I remember because I just passed my 15-year anniversary of doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so I get on the train. So it's, it. it's packed. Yeah. It's shoulder to shoulder, and I just hear Joe go... Ah, uh, what did you you yelled? Something we went to a out game, though. All, we went to the Big East tournament. Me and Joe did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And watched. That's something we do. Uh, instead of vacations, yeah. we went right? to go watch basketball. Is that okay? We went to the garden, the spent garden. the day watching yeah. basketball. Just drinking. Yeah. We didn't even, we didn't even do it's, comedy. It's a fucking... You're, you're make, you don't understand what I'm saying. A day together, an afternoon together is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm Patrice, talk- you want to get on this boat and help me out a little bit? <laughs> I'm talking about spending a whole week together. I'm... Uh, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Like no, no comedy. I've spent eight years. Let's do it. I'm talking. No, I've been no, hanging no, out no. for three hours with no comedy. <laughs> no, no, no comedy. No, no shows. No nothing. Just being human beings. <laughs> being together. Why can't com- This is what's so beautiful. Why what, about comedy? What'd you say? Why poop pat? Why poop pat? Ha poop papa papa. Weird. <laughs> what? Pum pa. Ha. Sada what? Ha. Sada what? Ha. Why pum pa? Wow. What the pa? He's like Nell. He taught that to himself in the White Mountains <laughs> when he wasn't around. <laughs> That's how y'all talk in the White Mountains. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> being funny on the Sana <laughs> Hatti. Bobby. Bobby mixing it up, being funny on the podcast. Uh, sucks uh, that he Joe is really I like going that he had, after everybody. I like that he had to say it twice. He, he knew, that Bobby's yeah. really well, funny, funny or not. Because I was ah, letting Bobby's. him go. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, uh, he just did it. This, this is what we're talking about. Oh. This is what we're talking about, Dan. This is what we're talking about. Hey, Dan. Go, uh, Dan. Dan. <laughs> Hang on. Dan, do not get high pitched. Oh, God. I <laughs> can't stop it. Once it started. <laughs> Now I'm up here for good. Oh, God. We need better couches. My Damn. balls and asshole and tick are one. Where? They're all mushy. Together. He's fiddling himself like a I, dude, I can't help it. it looks His like jeans a are so God, look at that. fitted look at that, that, look that you like can't have. That somebody stepped in. Dude, I, that I, belt is doing things to me. I can't. Ha- great. I can't help. I can't help hey. but look at his junk because <laughs> it's swelling. Because <laughs> the loss of blood. Yeah. Well, I've heard he's got a thick piece. Oh, <laughs> oh he, does. Yeah. he does have a nice Dumb. old. Can we please start? Uh, all no more. Up. No more gifts for the podcast. Send in money <laughs> so we can get fucking Kelly's posture fixed. <laughs> Every time I look at her, <laughs> she's word. just hunched and rolled over. When I put my shoulders back, my tits come out, and you guys are. Yeah, well, you know what? Him. Take the hit on the tits because okay. you look weird. Because the other way is brutal. <laughs> Bobby, I can't get to my <laughs> iPad because I think I have scoliosis. <laughs> Bobby, I live. <laughs> <laughs> my back is completely bent, Bobby. I can't please. I have to sleep in a box. Bobby, I live in a large truck tire. I can't. <laughs> That's how she goes to bed. She shuts the box. I, I rode to my gigs, Bobby. I found it in the dump yard, and I just put it behind the places. <laughs> oh, is that how you me. live on second and third? Yeah, with their pizza. Just live in a oh, box. I, I'm really. You said a, that earlier. We're not allowed to say well, that. Well, I'm, I'm really offended oh, that you don't joke. think I'm a country. That you don't think I'm a I'm a I a mean, nature guy. First of all, you went to prison and they made you go to nature. 
<laughs> Kid <laughs> prison. You didn't start hiking by choice. <laughs> There's not. I'm not now though. I this is my. You made I love. It out. You I made just, it out. Is anybody I, else doing good? You ever follow up with those guys? No, nah, a lot of them are dead. Uh, a lot of them are dead, and a lot of them are, um, when you're in re- real jail. Uh, the, the the percentage rate of juvenile delinquents. Uh, I don't know what it is now, but back when I was one out of thirty kids were going to make it. The rest were going to go to jail or die. Oh, it's know. like stand up, and you were the one that made it. I was one of them. Um, yeah, I don't know any anybody who really made it out it's on except a Facebook for me. Page or something? No, I you haven't gotten. Start t- one. You know what? I'm sorry. One kid, this kid Mike, a friend of mine, but he whew, he almost didn't. I met this kid the first time I went to jail. Um, I'm not going to give his last name, but he was he was a tough kid then, and then he left. We both left. We both got out, released, as they say. We both came back in. The same exact day, which was weird. I, I'm in a car, and they, they drive you to, from court, they take you to this, it's called uh, intake. And that's where they decide what juvenile place you're going to, depending on what's available, what you did, how, long, how many times you've been in. And I remember when I got in the car, and he's in the car. And I'm like, Mike, but his head shaved, he's shredded, he really ripped, and he wasn't the same motherfucker. He... He was uh, he was like Alex he didn't, Cross. He didn't, ever, he didn't you know? uh, appreciate he, it. Like, well, he was a rel- like, he was no offense. Be like, come on, that's pretty crazy, right? Like, I, it's crazy that we're together. <laughs> like, is that not? We crazy? got out. Now we're back in. Come on, Here, Mike. you don't think that's weird? Here's the thing, though, is that when you go back in, honestly, you, you, you're, you're, you're afraid for your life, especially as a kid at 13, 14. You're like, fuck me, I'm going back in. I made it out last time. You're shitting your pants because you don't know where you're going to wind up. I don't know if it's going to be a bad place or a good place. And it's, there's, I don't think there's anything scarier for me being a 13 or 14 year old, knowing that you're going to prison, and if it's you're gonna get beat up. I saw a kid get a pencil in the eye. I've seen kids get basketballs thrown at his face. I've seen blanket parties. I saw a lot of fucked up shit. It's a blanket party. That's when they put the blanket over your head and beat oh, the shit out of you. It's not a big, it's not a big party. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a party I want to be involved. I'm not gonna in. lie, the name makes it yeah. sound comfortable. Yeah. But what you just described. What times the blanket parties? This this kid wound up being. Uh, he was a born again Christian. Okay. Um, no offense. And um, he didn't like any, like, guys like, like, he thought I was beneath him, like, in God, like, here I am. He didn't talk to me the whole, I got it, I was, Mike, he ignored me. And he was looking straight ahead with his angry face. And we went to, we went to jail, he ignored me. And then we went to this other place. And then we wound up, this is fucked up too, we wound up in the same rehab. Years later. Mm Mm-hmm. What are the odds, Mike? What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's on a, really crazy yeah. that you that I met him three times in three different situations, and when I met him the third time, he was still a born again Christian, but he wasn't so fucking psycho. And he told me he goes when when I saw you in that car, I was gonna I was gonna fucking stab you. I was gonna beat the fuck out of you. I hate when you got in the car and you were all happy to see me. I wanted to beat the shit out of you. I was he was like I was this close. To f- and I was like, "Well, that's fucking yeah. good to know." Good to see you. Like bro. I, yeah. I, I, I almost Glad we caught up. Ooh. I almost, <laughs> <laughs> I almost said, <laughs> I almost like we were in the car, and I was like, "Mike, what's up?" I almost went that. I almost went, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" I'm so glad I, Ooh. I held my tongue. He's his going face, to prison. You're going to jail. Face is twitching. It is funny that you have the moment though, like a real life moment where you would. I think anybody would just be like. This <laughs> son of a bitch! Are you kidding me, Ned? Ned Ryerson. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we went to rehab, we went to this. It was a year long program. You commit for a year, and we went on the same day again. It was fucking crazy. And he was a. I remember uh, weird as this may be. It was the first time I prayed. Um, you got to pray just to make it today. He actually. <laughs> he taught me how to pray. Um, when I remember, because he was, a, I was never religious. I was a Catholic, and I never really. I went to church when I was young, and then I was a fucking just a piece of shit. And I remember he actually taught me. I mean, what did he say to me? He goes, uh, "Prayer is you talking to God, and meditation is letting God talk to you." Um, and I, I remember the first couple of times I, I, I prayed. It, it fucking it it. I don't care. Look, I'm not a born again Christian. I'm not overly religious. I don't go to church every Sunday. But when your life is done and over and you're f- you got no options and you get down on your knees and you pray and then something happens internally and things get better instantly, 
it's a weird it's it's um it's a it's a overwhelming fucking feeling it's a spiritual enlightenment and when that hits you in life if that if you're blessed to ever have that happen where you actually see clearer uh, for uh, all of a sudden the clouds go away that have been there for a long time it's one of the most amazing things that's ever happened to me and I remember where it was. It was it was in a hallway at a uh, with Mike, and I, I was having just terrible time of life and trying to get sober. And I was fifteen. I was my life was fucking over at fifteen. And I remember there's this, there's, he just said, "Come here for a second. We went down and we started praying and we started, you know, and the you know I was always scared of the ritualness of the prayer, our Father and hello, you know, all that stuff. I was always scared of that because it's just ritual stuff. But if you listen to it. It's actually this really good shit. You know, uh, the serenity prayer yeah. saved my life. It still does. I still say it every time I fly. And every time I have a fear of flying that developed from flying so much being a comic. I, I, I started thinking we're going to crash. We're going to crash. It's just uh, the odds are with me that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down. And uh, the serenity prayer, you know, grim of the serenity, accept things I cannot change, the courage of things that I can't change, the things I can, is the wisdom to, and the wisdom to know the difference L- helps me. I'm fine. I'm good. Everything's good. It's funny because when you started telling that, the light changed and it got like bright when you're like, when you pray, and it was like, oh. <laughs> oh, really? But I mean, I don't know why you got to throw your liberal views out on the podcast <laughs> when we're just trying to escape that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Look. Nothing, Joe? <laughs> that's, that's smiling. Yeah, I brought up the guy that talks shit to us. Yeah, that guy's. Who that said guy that? Sucks, but what that, happened? That would, be, that would be the opposite of liberal. I know. Views. I was joking. I was trying to get you on board because you're standing oh, what there what like happened? an autistic kid what staring at, a, at the table. I was listening to my friend talk about he finding was done. God. He was done. And we were. I wasn't ready to make light I'm of it. I'm very angry yet. today. I need to find God. I wasn't ready to make light of it yet. Well, I mean, it's... But yeah, it, that guy's a fucking idiot. When he taught you how to pray, did he say, were you like, so you close your eyes? He goes, no, no, you can't close your eyes. Not here. Like, not a here. bunch of he goddamn animals. animals. No. He says goddamn animals. Who's that guy? He you goes, talking about that guy. Who is that? He goes, don't, yeah, don't close your eyes. I'll try to suck what your about, dick. What <laughs> about... Yeah. I'm going to blow, the, uh, blow your brain. Would it be better when you go to... Pr- when you're on, in, on the way there... If you, was it better just to like because you know did you know one place was great yep so you know one's good and you know the other one's not good so it's like well you, this is what happened I'll explain they bring you from court all over the state of Massachusetts they grab these kids from courts and they bring them to it's called intake it's up in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere in Middleton and from there you sit there all day and from there uh, towards the end of the day they figure out who's going where. And there's a rule. And the, kid, the first day there, the kid, one of those kid grabbed me. He goes, look, if they handcuff, ask him where you're going. If they handcuff you first and then tell you, it's bad. If they tell you before they handcuff you, you're good. It's going to be a good place. Really? Yeah. And what if the guy does like a half of one? You're like, oh, come on, man. What does this mean? He goes, you're going to. Oh, you got acquitted. Yeah. You weren't even Congrats, in the court. We were just, you shouldn't have been on that oh, van. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, guy. when I went in there, I, they, there was, first of all, it's the first time I had to get naked in front of another man. You have to get strip searched mm. twice. And that's one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever done. I was 13. You had to do, take your, but you when, were, they, when they say take. You ripped? Or yeah, you, I was shredded yeah. b- for a 13 year old. But when you take your, you're in your tidy whities and he goes, take your underwear off. You, you're like, I don't, you feel violated. Yeah. And then, then he says, do jumping jacks. You're like, what the fuck? Look at a 13-year-old and then imagine him doing five jumping jacks in front of you and I bending over. 13 year olds do jumping jacks naked all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's What's that thing. website? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's they, called f- they Five never and Squat. Look like they enjoy it. I'll tell you that. Um, it was it was it was really bad. But when they when I went out there and I said uh, I go I go uh, where am I going? And he just ignored me. I was like fuck me. And I had chick chick put the shackles on, grabbed two bigger kids. I think I was 13. They had to be like uh, 16, 17 and shackled them to me. I was the middle motherfucker, which sucked because if you don't know how to walk in shackles. Did the first guy stop on purpose? And, like, you know. Well, if you, no, 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 no. If you, don't know, if you don't know how to walk in shackles and if you fuck them up, they get mad at you. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 they, they knew what they would do. I never, wa- I never was shackled in my life. So I have handcuffs on shackles in the middle and... They they're walking and they know how to do it and I kept fucking it up and they we're going to the same place and I'm gonna live with these guys for a month and if I be in the cell together no it's not a cell it's yeah. uh, like uh, where this place was the Charlestown Y that's no longer there anymore um, so there's a YMCA downstairs you go upstairs the top 
three, two levels is a ju- juvenile detention center. Um, so I was going to, you know, I, you don't want to fuck up the first day. Yeah. And I remember I kept fucking up and I was just, I was so stressed out. I was focusing so hard on not hurting their ankles. Yeah. It was, I was actually fucking up my ankles and, you know, it sucked. Um, but the next time I went back to court, a week later, I found out that the intake place was attached to this other place called NFI Shelter Care, which was that place that yeah. has an open window, an open door policy, and it has like you know uh, incentive program, yeah. and it's like the first of its kind. It's still there too. It's like this this holy shit juvenile. I actually went to the Congress and spoke in front of the Congress and the Senate in favor of this place to raise money for this place when I was nineteen. So you went to the bad one first. I went to the bad one first. And how long were you at the bad one for? I was at the bad one for a week, and it was bad, man. It did was... you know about the good one then? Nope. See? When I went back, the kid told me about this place next door that was attached to it. And I, I actually saw this guy come in, or a counselor from the other place. And I went, hey, dude, bring me in there. I want to go there. And he's like, I don't know if they have... I go, come on, man. I begged him. I was like, just see if this... Can you please just see if this room... And I, I schmoozed him. Yeah. I just fucking schmoozed this guy, and he they brought me in. And I remember I walked in, and there was this big gay guy, a chef. This I forget his name. And uh, he was behind there, and he's cooking these fucking little cakes. And I was like, oh, it was like fantasy land. Because <laughs> I guess they had just hit a, a, a incentive, like yeah. 30 days or, or 20 days or something like that, where they got cakes. <laughs> and uh, I remember they took me downstairs, and you had your own little cube. Um, in a op- there was three rooms. They called them dorms, uh, A, B, and C. And in there was around maybe ten to fifteen kids a pop, maybe twenty. And you had these little cubes with a bed and a, dr- a dresser. You could smoke. I remember. Oh, that's healthy. Well, back then you could <laughs> I smoke. I was the little thing in the middle. You could smoke. All the all the stuff was the pillows were fireproof. It was like a cement bag. How do you get cigarettes? You just buy them. Like people would, uh, people would buy them for you. Um, Which, if you had to do it again, would you rather do the good place first than the bad place, or the way you did it? Uh, I, I went. Well, that was I went there, and then I I went back. I went back three more times. I went to a bad Jesus. place again and you again. Just the worst place I ever been to was in Rochester, New York, mm-hmm. upstate. Rochester, New York had the worst juvie hall I was ever in. I I, I mean, you were a number. I mean, you, and they 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 had a solitary room. They would stick in and. The guys just fuck, and they were, and you were in there with some fucking criminals. I mean, yeah. it was the worst. The last place I was in was the worst. Terror. That's where I, the first time I ever got down on my knees, not to get corny again, but you know, if corny, if actually praying to God to you is corny, whatever. Um, but I, if I going to hell is corny, then whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If yeah. you think you're a real queer, well, you're I, going to hell. Look, I think. Then I guess I'm corny. Yeah. That was the first place I, I, I that's when I got sober up in that. I got, I, I was done. I got, I remember I, I got down on my knees and I was like, I'm done. I said it to God. I was like, I'm done. I know what it is. I, I tried to play people, places, and things. It's I drink. I use drugs. If I stop doing that, that's what I'm going to I go, that, I'm done doing that. I'm done. And then, uh, and that's the last time I ever drank. Could you get stuff in there? What's that? Like drinking and drugs? Was oh, that? fuck yeah. You, you could get, get it in there? You get weed and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, what yeah. drugs did you do besides weed? Uh, Coke, mask, acid. Uh, tea. Um, tea. I did anything. Tea. Valium. Whatever you put in front of me, I took. Uh, My main goal every day, I would wake up and I would beg for money at school. Not beg. I would bully, actually. Not really bully either. <laughs> I was this weird, nice bully. Uh, I would, I would, this is what I would do. You would bamboozle people. <laughs> I would bamboozle. On the day you get lunch tickets, I would go to the bathroom. Ever, uh, you know, whatever from, you know... M to Z, come down to get your lunch tickets. I go down, wait out in front, and I just ask for one. Give me a lunch ticket. Give me a lunch ticket. Give me a lunch ticket. And they give me one. And then I'd take those lunch tickets, and I'd st- I would go into the line, and the people with the dollars, because lunch was 85 cents, I would go, here, take the lunch ticket. You're only lending me 15 cents. So they'd give me the dollar. And then I'd wait at the end of that line and take the 15 cents from everybody. Oh. So I'd make like three, four... Six bucks a day 
you know, a couple days, a few days a week at the lunch line. Just so much Kelly makes in comedy now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I would take that money and I'd buy booze. The park I hung out with, it was Tufts Park in Medford. You didn't need whatever you had, you were in. We'd have potion night. So one of the older kids would just collect the money from everybody. Well, if you had $10 or $30, we, they took it. I mean, you'd just bring five if I was... If it's just, well, they'd pat you down. Oh, I, I, Oh, dude, I got pat down from Mikey Catalano. Come here. Just a fucking shredded... Mike Catalano? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that guy. You know him? Yeah. I know a Mike Catalano. Yeah. Yeah. From Boston? From yeah. Medford? Not from Medford, from Revere. No, well, they, I mean... They, I mean, they, Revere? They had these guys that were, I mean, from... They were from, <laughs> like, a fucking Guy Ritchie yes. movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these guys were big, man. Big guys, big motherfucking shredded, just tough, tough men. And I remember they pat you down. Come here. They take your money and then make you go buy them a sub at like Bob Sub with your money for them. They be like, "Come here. You got any money? No, I ain't got anything." Pat you down. Find it in your shoe. Now go get me a chicken cutlet. <laughs> You'd have to go get him a. You had to. I would like a chicken cutlet. <laughs> Let's see, get some Qdoba oh, after this. Huh? What's that? Qdoba. Why don't we all go to Qdoba? Like a family. Yeah. What's that? It's a Mexican place on the it's corner. It's a travel agency. Makes Chipotle look like <laughs> it's a travel agency. I've got a card there for seven dollar entrees. How about Boom. people that still go to travel agents? How crazy is that? I don't know. Is that the dumbest yeah, thing? Sometimes I'm lazy though. I can't be ticket. bothered doing it all myself. No, that's insane. Wait, are you yeah. serious? You go to travel agency? Yeah, because sometimes for what? I got that's like... stupid. Yeah, but it's been long haul flights are like different to like... What's know? wrong, Dan? What? I, it was just really funny that you were like telling the story about like going through jail and like this tough thing and it's like... Yeah. What's the deal with travel agents? Well, Why are they I'll still tell you. Around? I'll tell you what it is: is that people get uncomfortable with real talk. No, no I enjoyed it. Interesting. It. No. I, listened, what are you, I, I just thought it was funny. It. it was just like we're a, trying uh, to wake up the audience. Yeah, <laughs> no, people. <laughs> people in their cubicle right now yeah. wiping away a tear. They're no, like, no. You got out. I, I, you got I, out. I, I truly believe that people. Hey. Oh, Jesus, talk about hey. talk about unfunny. <laughs> Not <Okay>. you. <laughs> What's up? The guy behind you. I told them about the new studio. There's a mic right there. For everyone who wants to know Gnome. No, Gnome, the owner of everything. Joe, I just did it for you. The owner of everything just uh, the came up. The unfunny owner of everything. Whoa. Not totally unfunny. Um, wh- yeah, it looked good. <laughs> you look thin? <laughs> You've been thin since you came out. You're the funny one. I'm the thin one. Go ahead. What's, um, <laughs> Nate, Dan, and Gnome are all dressed the same. Oh. Yeah, called White. Mm, I don't know. Does that about mean? That. <laughs> just a wh- just a <laughs> just a white guy look. <laughs> yeah, wait, well, I'll take it. Give it to me. Right. Nah, what, what, nah, so what's up? When, like when that, are we moving really? into the new studio, Noam? I, I don't know. I, I uh, um, I'm gonna eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah. Jesus Christ. If it's sooner, it's sooner. But but uh, first of all, uh, uh, there's a wrinkle in it now. Is that, that oh. you're going to be stressing everything? So oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, what's the, be really really? What's terrible. the wrinkle? That's the wrinkle. Oh, Me yeah. stressing? You're, no, no, I, no, all you know, all I got to worry about uh, uh, Robert Kelly tiring. <laughs> he's having a baby. He's going to be preoccupied. <laughs> I got I got you paint chips. You can pick the colors and stuff. That's and not it, dude. I'm, I I, if, I just want to be able to fit in the studio. Yeah. You can fit I don't studio. want you laughing because I can't get in. I'm I, stuck there. Dad, I'm stuck, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Go get one of your Africans to push me out, Dad. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want some fucking terrorist in the middle taking a shirt off. And I told you that's you, there's a door. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna hear him doing on his cell phone. Kelly's gonna get banged out. <laughs> they they uh, they come in in, in the morning and yeah. they don't leave till the evening. Well, here's the deal. The, I just want to be able to fit in the room. Mm-hmm. I want reasonable. <laughs> And then I, I don't want demands. I don't want. I just don't want the dude in there. The, the dude. One of the guys. I don't want, want the kitchen dude coming in. With, Hello? The big Lebowski. I don't know how many times I can, in different ways I can tell you this. There's a door All and right. they can't come in there. Okay, I'll look at it after. I just gotta. I just gotta wrap my brain around it and see it, and then I'll be okay with it. I'm very excited about it. It's actually bigger than this room. It's way bigger. Well, not way bigger, but it's yeah, bigger. Yeah, it's way. It's like well, three times the size of, what, of your space. Really? Bigger. Yeah. Well, it's, it's got a lot of shit in it now. What are you going to do with all those sh- that stuff? Um, I'm going to put it in here, and I don't, I don't know what to do with it. We're going to throw a lot of it's garbage. The mixing boards? Oh, Kristen just texted. She can't make the podcast tonight. Why don't you have Kelly Festuco on? Mm. 
I don't have to. Wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. That hurt. That hurt. <laughs> I don't know how to I, that. I'm always angry at you. seeing that. I'm almost Jeez. angry at you, Bobby, for putting him in that position. I fucked oh, up. Man. I really but did. I you should. I appreciate it. Oh, can I breathe again? I'm yeah. never. <laughs> I'm never. I'm never. You know what? I'm, I'm never asked to be I'm honest. just going to talk about. Be clear? You know what? You got it all I was choking on something. I'm yeah. gonna, came I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk over. about God again. We could have done do like the hat. You just go Guys. yes, and then afterwards go. Obviously, Kelly, I would yeah. never have you on it, but I just said that on the. Podcast. I'm gonna tell you why. Can Kelly I could, open these chocolates? Sh- let him talk. I'm gonna tell you why Kelly shouldn't come on it. It's not oh. because it's because she doesn't have a rapport with anybody. With humans, that's 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 that does be comedy on, for a living. That. Well, that's <laughs> so who do you have? On, who have, who do you have on the show? <laughs> Was well, Dan Natterman? Dan Natterman, good rapport with humans. Yeah. That's, yeah, uh, easy I, to do. I with. think it's Ryan, I think it's Ryan <laughs> Hamilton. Yeah, another easy. Keep yeah. going. Yeah, Mormon. They're always fun. Who are, is this? Is this the podcast of people that do not have rapport with other people? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Yeah, actually, yeah, perfect. And uh, and um, uh, Fred Stoller. Who's Fred Stoller? Yeah, that's the a actor. Writer. Yeah, the writer. actor. Uh, he wrote yeah. the Seinfeld. Brilliant writer. Writer. Uh, yeah. I knew that. That's he was why on Seinfeld I, too. I yelled actor. Great you tweeter. <laughs> he's a great tweeter. Yeah, he's a great. Oh, he's a great writer. I mean, you know a lot about him. I know a little bit about You want to be on the show? You want to be on the show? What time is the show? Uh, at 7 o'clock. All right. I have sets. It's coming together. It wow. sets at 7 o'clock. Uh, Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, are you, are you fucking crazy? What? You, you, you said... Oh, God. You literally just said no to Kelly, <laughs> and then you invite in front of her mm. fucking yeah. Joe List. Wow. That but is so knows, insulting. He knows all about Fred Stoller. I don't know all about him. But I you know more than anybody else. You probably know more than most people on the planet know about Fred Stoller. I mean, you, you wrote about his tweeting, his writing, his episodes on Seinfeld. Do you remember, do you remember the Seinfeld where uh, the guy, a guy can't remember Elaine? Yeah. The bit on like yeah, a yeah, 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 only yeah. Re- he only remembers that's, that's that's Fred she, um, Oh, yeah, I know that. He goes, yeah. the I'm going to have with my parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's Eventually like, you yeah. So you know who he is too, then? Yeah, yeah I know. There He's a big go. character from Seinfeld. I'm a big wow. Seinfeld fan. So you yeah. know... Wow. Well, yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. He's also the a... annoying cousin in um, Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, you know right. who else he is? Dumb and Dumber. He's the guy in the payphone that gets oh, punched yeah, in the face. Oh, yeah, he's too. Yeah. Have you That's ever right. heard of the concept? Well, yeah, of, uh, so he's he's an actor. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kelly, you do know just as much about this guy as Joe Yeah, he's really deadpan the way he talks. He's always like... diehard fan. I have a 730 show. Would you at least like to meet him? Can she meet him? Yeah. Can she meet him before the show? <laughs> and then I'll leave. You can, you, would you come on? The, would you come on the podcast, Kelly? <laughs> if you want me to, I would love to, but I don't want it. You don't have to. Be, <laughs> don't push don't it now. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're putting him. Pre- you're putting that pressure on him. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> take the pressure. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Listen. Let it happen. Don't have dignity. Okay. Just take your chocolate bars, your one left tit, and get on the show. <laughs> um, I, I, how is the new club opening? Uh, how how'd the weekend go? The weekend was awesome. Yeah. Uh, especially Saturday night. Saturday night, yeah. Because we uh, figured out a um, well, an amazing. The, the club's good. Yeah, the club's good. How, uh, but how. I don't how, know what you figured out. Well, how was the. Well, you don't want to give away all your secrets. Yeah, I mean, this is. Did, you know, you don't want the fucking a stand. Tech secret to the make stand is going to fucking listen to this and fucking steal everything. So it was great, though. You think. Is it going to work? It was. Uh, it was unbelievably good. Was it sold out Friday and Saturday? Sold out, yeah. Just like that. Just like that, yeah. Wow, it's great. So you had you had two clubs on the same, almost on the same block, sold out. Same same city block, yeah. It's crazy. I, I had the stage now. I don't know if you've been on it. Any of you guys have been on? You work at you work here. Nate, you work here when you're in when you when you lived here. Uh, yeah, only a while ago. Right, the stage over there now is so f- tight and small. I've been on it since it's, they've changed it. Yeah. Since they put that uh, uh, thing in the back. Fucking love it. Yeah, it's great. Love it. It's so the they finally the, when you first had it that first week, it was such a big stage. You didn't know where to go, and these people are in, way over to the right and left, so disconnected from the show. Right, but now and, it's a lot better. Oh, it's that's, so that's good because of you. You you were the one who screamed at me and. Uh, Berated me into making the stage. Smaller. I'm glad that you listened. Yeah, I did. Sometimes his berating yeah. can be positive outlooks. Yeah, I'm glad that you. You should. You, are you saying I'll thank never you? Give away a gift. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. <laughs> Next time you don't have to scream and make me cry, but it was. It was it but it's effective. No, I won't give away a gift, and you've learned how to build your stage. Yeah, this guy, this fucking this beautiful Heather Graves, donates the show almost every week. Maybe. All right. Okay, the lights, everything. Heather Graves, right? She sends a box of these hats for me, Joe, Dan, and Kelly. Boston strong. Be strong, right? These are great hats. So I pass them all out. Dan takes his. 
on the fucking show. And then Nate didn't have one, but what? He didn't care really. I'm not and I go, you don't have one. He goes, it. you can have mine, man. Take mine. He said that in the mic. He on did the in the mic. But I learned my lesson through berating. <laughs> oh yeah, you got you got what was coming. To oh you. Yeah. Whoa, man. Yeah, but you know what I learned. So much anger. And also, my friends that I thought were my friends, uh, one Joe List, when I told him I'm very sensitive about the cancer thing because I smoke and I'm trying to quit. I'm going to quit smoking next month. Kept saying I was going to get cancer. First of all, you did not say that until just now. I, I did. made one you joke were, and then you got talking. upset, so I, I stopped. I felt bad. And you were like, I, "I have to go to the doctor." I'm like, "I did not even know that." Yeah. And yeah. also, me making a joke about cancer will not cause you to have any more cancer. <laughs> yes, and it I'm, will. I'm fucking, I'm hurt that you're a comedian who I respect and still thinks that that stuff matters. And I'm hurt that you didn't fill me in that you're worried about having cancer and you might actually have it. I wouldn't have made a joke. I'm, ha- I'm hurt. Even though it doesn't matter if you joke or not joke. <laughs> I just to How about say this? I hope you get cancer. Whoa! Oh, well, you know what All I right. say to that? I take it back. Knock on wood. Dan no. gets cancer. <laughs> Dan- <clears throat> is, that the name, is that the name <laughs> of the podcast? Bobby, that was pretty insensitive. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't want Jesus. it to be. What if I do? And then you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Is there cancer in your family? A lot of people with cancer. No, no, no. I have no. no cancer in my family. No. What cancer do you think you have? I don't know. I've, I've been having throat problems. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? What happened? Well, you do. Like, I went to a doctor and the, they did a bunch of tests and I have to go back. What they say? Uh, I have There's GERD. Probably cancer. You have GERD. The guy goes. I've never GERD. seen this. Come back in a couple weeks. I've never dude, seen nothing like this. Dude, I've had GERD since I was seven. But it's good. Was your throat ever like shutting off? Yeah, it shut off last year. Shut oh, off. that was that. What that was? You know what? I I, I changed Joe, my. Joe, you're forgiven. I'm sorry. I got. I, 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 it's it's actually. Though. I'll tell you what it is. It was the um, GERD? stupid fucking um, pollen. Pollen. Oh. Yeah, am oh, I allergic? We have to a something? super high I, 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 I've never been allergic in my life to anything. Me neither. All of a sudden, I got these adult allergies. My voice shut down, and I, I, the cigarettes kills you. Yeah, I got, I got. I mean, I'm gonna stop. That's what kills you because the smoke will shut your throat down. That's what's been going. And this on. is weird. This is gonna sound fucking freaky. Go to the store and get number one. Get apple vinegar. Okay. Take a teaspoon of that. Uh, a day or at night. Don't and, write it down. Don't worry about it. And don't get <laughs> forget about what the doctor told you. Don't get, know what Robert says. Get Being recorded. It, this is gonna be weird. Get a get, you know those little vibrators. Yeah, it's around like you know three inches. Put it in your- <laughs> Put it in your head. First of all, <laughs> if you have a funny, if, enjoy it. This is the way a podcast works, gnomes. You think of something funny, you actually say it in the microphone. You don't whisper it to the guy sitting next <laughs> to you, sick. asshole. I got shy. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in your, put it in your butt hole. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what if you stick it? Can you tell me how you spell Gert? I want to look it up while you're talking. G E R D. Yeah. G G U D. It's like dirt. Gert. 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 It's Gert. 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 It's Gert. G E R D. Get a vibrator Gert. and you massage. I've put it on your throat. It. It's right here. There's, listen, there's yeah, a video. Yeah, there's a YouTube video online of this doctor who, who figured out by massaging your throat and it. It, your, your muscles tighten up and they don't let go, and that's what shuts it down. If you massage it, it will actually loosen up the muscles, and they'll your throat will open up again. Right. Tech talk Was with a vibrator. Talk? No, yeah, you, YouTube talk. it first and talk uh, to you. Yeah, it, it, obviously, it, it, don't go to the doctor. Um, YouTube it, it. I don't want to. I don't scare you, but it, taking drugs to treat GERD can increase your risk of cancer. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, that's oh great. Boy. Good for you, no? That's way to oh fucking. Oh boy! I got the guy happy taking apple cider cinnamon, putting a vibrator on his throat, and now you got him having cancer again. I don't, I don't, don't want to look at cinnamon the first time. Know. What? He needs to be informed. You didn't say cinnamon the first time. Were you holding that back? I didn't, didn't say cinnamon. Did I just say cinnamon? You just said cinnamon. What are you trying, are you trying to kill I said apple Are you, cider there a vinegar. Big difference? I said apple cider vinegar. Cinnamon's horrible for you. Sir. I never said. So you can oh, die Jesus. taking a tea, taking a teaspoon of cinnamon all at once. You 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 can actually die. No way. Absolutely. No way. It's called the cinnamon challenge. I eat teaspoons I almost, every morning. Uh, cin- I almost I almost <laughs> I almost killed E Rock on the Oni show. Yeah. With the cinnamon challenge. He took a, a a big teaspoon of it, and his it it dries out your throat and lungs. It just it sucks up all the moisture, and you can't you can't breathe. Oh, so you gotta drink something? Or? The, even if you drink something, it just it just. So what happens? You die. You, Is that guy dead? No, he's not dead. I almost killed him. Really? I mean, I got scared, dude. I I, I does I, it go away? It did, but you can get very you can fuck yourself up doing that. What, no. Guys, you want to talk in the microphone? We're on a well, show. I was, I was scared shitless, and then I read, and it was saying if you have uh, mild forms of GERD, if you right. really have no like uh, problems, and you're taking proton pump blockers, mm-hmm. which basically acid reflux medication, they said you're sixty to eighty percent more likely to get esophageal cancer than if you have severe 
um, symptoms and you're taking a protein blocker. Okay. I don't know. That makes blocker. sense. So wait. You, I don't know. I, I think what I just read was okay. Yeah, but the worse the GERD, the less likely you are to have cancer. Yes. The worse and the I, GERD. And I have yeah. awful, I have so really bad cancer. Is that co- it's heart, heartburn, okay. right? Yeah. It's, it's like it, HPV. It, terrible heartburn. It's, uh, Not HPV. Well, they're saying HPV <laughs> no. causes throat cancer. But HPV, the kind that gives you warts, doesn't cause cancer. Exactly. So the worse the HPV you have, the better. And I've got I've got really severe GERD. Like we're all gonna die. No, no. <laughs> I just I had a night run. what I just had a nightmare that I two nights ago I had a nightmare that I fucking was had one of those that machines. you didn't make it. <laughs> no, those like ah, ah, ah. oh voice uh, box. Yeah. Oh you know what voices you could do with that though? I mean, I'd Darth be the Vader. Jimmy, I'd be the Jimi Hendrix of voices. <laughs> Here's a robot from Fever. Russia. <laughs> you guys, you guys want to hear a robot? Ro- <laughs> you and Zach Galifianakis to do like a one, two man show. Zach up at who? Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, there you go. He got the second time around. What do you want, owl? Who? <laughs> 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 Jesus. No, are you cold? It's getting a laugh. No, no, I gotta go. I'm just wondering who's gonna do. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out about Fred Stoller now because I didn't realize he was actually somebody well known. I thought and, you were uh, having Kelly on. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he's well known. I just have to. I'm just a Well, you guys just that. rattled off his whole IMDb resume. Yeah, but that's because we're ridiculous yeah. Seinfeld. I was talking yes. about this. Can I say something too? Yeah. I was talking about this. I forget with who. That the younger comics, like the generation before me and before them, are so much more. Uh, they know so much more about comedy because of YouTube and the internet. And right. I mean, when I was a kid, you had to have a record player to listen to Pryor. You didn't. You didn't get to YouTube and watch every fucking thing he's ever done ever all afternoon and know everything about Richard Pryor in three hours. Right. Um, you were born like in the Dan 50s. the other, Dan the other night. Actually, Zach Galifianakis came in. He sat down and he rattled off his bit word for word. No, I don't know. I didn't know when you said that on the phone. I didn't know what you were talking about. He had some bit that he was like this thing that I. And you were like you blah blah blah. Oh, blah, he's blah. talking about playing the piano. Yeah, and you knew what the fuck he was talking about. Because if yeah, special. watch the special. You watch the piano. We That's also exactly didn't spend what I was our saying. lives in juve- juvenile halls or whatever. We also didn't take vacations all day long. <laughs> care, Bobby. We weren't blowing up a boat. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> care. All right, guys. Right. Well, let's wrap this up. You know, I try to bring this. You know. I think I'm going to just do this by myself. <laughs> I think I'm ending this. I think I'm going to just do Bob Kelly with Fred just Stoller. himself. You can almost hear the cheers across. <laughs> he's you know what, put, dude? He's just land. putting you guys down. Is that, is that how this podcast ends? No, like, I don't live here. I so try, I but I, I, I don't even do it by myself from now on. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm worried about GERDs. I don't know. That study. <laughs> No, they just you guys all have like Stockholm syndrome. He's he's like he's like really No, they just all smashed me, stupid. They've been smashing oh, me for I a half hour. I missed that part. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they just all took a hit at I'm me sorry. and I was just like, I'm gonna do this by myself. I was just defending myself. I missed that part. Yeah, really? Well open your ears. I wasn't here. All right. All right. When we get that live video, you will be able to see what's going on. <laughs> I told him you're gonna add live video, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah. So that room's gonna be insane. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Joe List, what do you got? Uh, May, the last weekend of May. What is it? 30, 31. I'll be headlining the Tacoma Comedy Club. May 23rd, my one-man show at the Creek in the Cave. Again? Yeah. Same thing. May 23rd, Creek in the Cave. Can I go? Come on out. Please. I'd love for you to come out. Okay. You're if, the only you know, really close friend that hasn't come out yet. I would love to come out. And, um, uh, will you remind Tacoma. me? Because I'm having a baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nate, what do you got? May 15th through the 19th, I, 19th I'm headlining... It's Oklahoma okay. City Looney Bin, and then I'm headlining. <laughs> like, uh, I did talk through that fast. <laughs> I'm headlining uh, 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 Chuckle Hut and fucking in, uh, Louisville, somebody, 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 somebody. and then Go Bananas. I will be there in May 30th to whatever the, you know the beginning of whatever month comes mm-hmm. right after that. What um what is your Twitter? Nate Bargetsy. And what do you want to do with your Twitter? I want to beat Dan Soder. So uh, let's huh? get it together. And they're doing good. They're really doing good. They get hit up. A lot, and I've jumped up a good amount. Good, you know. Well, keep Nate going Cohen though. You got to keep pushing it. I keep pushing it, dude. I'm you got to you know, keep pushing it. On at Nate Bergazzi. Six at Nate and a half. Bergazzi. Six and a half. Yeah. I'm at sixty-five. Really? There you uh, go, buddy. Uh, well, six three eight seven. So oh, I round up. Uh, so let's thanks. go. That's how a good how, how long? Seven. How long do you get? How, how, what do you got? Eight. So does No, he's like twelve thousand. He's eleven thousand, and he's verified. Where did you get verified? Where did you get verified? Hey. Hey. Congratulations. Oh. Fuck, fuck you for not knowing. I didn't know what it was. I know what it is. It's just stu- I know what it is. It's your dumb management and the people that it's CAA. Brillstein. <laughs> it's it's not it's not C it's yeah, got to be C A A probably yeah Thank and you. and Which he's your agency he's pre, he's pretending they're not trust me they're not my agency okay. uh, one guy might, maybe you 
This, uh, his humbleness makes me. Dude, what they do? I honestly don't know what it is. I like. I didn't uh, know who did it. I don't know who went so and did it. Who's pretending to be Dan Soder on Twitter? One day? <laughs> did you just see it one day? Yeah, someone, someone DM'd me and was like, "Hey, you're verified now." Can we all just understand that Dan Soda is? J- it's just he's. Can we all just agree and be okay with it? He's just that guy. He's one of the guys that are going to go fucking scathing right past everything and everything's going to eat just come to him. He's going to get very it doesn't matter and he's not going to know cuz he doesn't care about verified cuz he got verified and he doesn't know how it happens. Just let it go, let it happen and good for you, Dan. You're talk- it sounds like you're talking to yourself. We're all I am. Sitting here. I am. I'm ready to Ninja Turtles box. I am talking to myself. Are you all not right. verified? Good, You're verified, right? Good, pi- yeah. good, good yeah. picking that up. All right. I don't know. It sounds like he's going to be get pretty Ugh. sick soon. Fucking Joe's <laughs> seriousness bugs me. <laughs> <I'm not> serious. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're being all serious. You're yelling at us. like it was, uh, You're very I, projecty there. I, wa- I was joking. It was quite proje- it was, I can't tell when you're joking anymore. Uh, 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 that's, the end of, that's the end of the relationship right there. Oh. Great. Well, that's when you know you have to break up with a girl. I've you know, it, it, you, it used to be funny. That's when, know, when, she, when she goes, you, you, that used to make me laugh. I've been wanting to get out of this relationship for a long time. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking got it. I can't get over the verified thing. Kelly? Yep, the verified thing. Okay, no, good. you fucking stupid no, one know. plug yeah, that you yeah. have every week. No, I want to um, I want to thank my on internet guy. I get shut, <laughs> shut up. Last week this got stomped on. The guy emailed me. He's like, thanks for trying to thank me, but everyone stomped on you. Oh, so, I'm, um, glad, I'm sure he's glad you brought it up then. Yeah. That he said that. Because <laughs> he's really nice. He's really sweet. Um, I got a, uh, someone made a website for me and they're really sweet. Devin, I think I say Richie he made or it f- Rissy. He, he made it for Dan too. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 we're still working on it. But just if you go, um, if you go to my website now that he made for me at Mashpoint mm-hmm. and uh, click on it, he's really inexpensive if you're a comic and you want to use it. What's him. the really website? Uh, it's called Mashpoint. Are you com. plugging? Called, anyway. Yeah. Him, I'm thanking him for helping me. But you're telling but people done. to go and if they would like Mashpoint? a website and they want to use him. I was going to do it too. <laughs> yeah. I was going to plug Devin. That's he's it. great. He's great. How do I know that? He's gonna. How, how do I know that he's great? Because we've had much contact with him, and he loves the show. Huge fan of the show. Huge. Fan. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> loves you. God loves he's you. Really and he's emailed <laughs> you about something. So I know. I talked. I got to him. remind you. All right. So Devin, Devin go to Richard. Devin. What else, Kelly? You got a show? Uh, yeah, I have a show every Wednesday now at Open Lounge in uh, 50, 52nd and Second, uh, and then there's Underbelly as well. But go to my website where I have everything on my calendar. Oh. Well, not everything. Mm. Well, Dan, lot. what do you got, buddy? Um, May 9th to the 11th, I'll be at the Sacramento Punchline. DanSoder.com, built in by Devin Ritchie. Please check it out. <laughs> and I'm verified, which upsets Nate. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That he's verified? Unbelievable. Twelve. I know people with 100,000 followers that aren't verified. You know what? All the best week ever people got ver- verified. Like, I think it's like, probably the guy code. Like, yeah, mm, I think you it's, know. It's I Viacom. Th- I think it's MTV. Yeah. It's Viacom yeah, or yeah. CAA. I know why you're I mad. think it's MTV. probably Viacom, especially because it happened this week and my special's coming out on Friday. Well, what they do now. I have Twitter. My I talked to a comic that when you are going to be on something or involved with a certain thing and they look at your Twitter and you're not verified or you don't have a lot of followers or your Facebook does, they will go and pump it up. Buy you followers, verify you, buy you face. This is making me excited. Is that what it's happened to him? No, they will do is that. It, this is like the cancer a website thing. because that makes you feel because <laughs> <laughs> you know. here's the thing though: if getting cancer makes you feel better. Oh. What's that? When you there's read something, oh, oh you or me? Yeah. So, there's a web, there's a website. Go ahead. Called Status People. Well. And you but, can check to see who's But fake these agencies real. now can actually, these agencies can go in and pump everything up. So when fans go, if they see you have 6,000 followers or 12,000 followers and you're verified, that psychologically does something to people to, oh, he's important, or he has 20,000 yeah. people, and or he has 30,000 people. Guy's so important. It means, <laughs> it means something to the executives. It's it means shit. something no, to the other. I walked into a room and they were all on Twitter looking at what I wrote. That's why I don't write. I hope your mother dies and gets cunt cancer anymore, because yeah. all these you don't think I'll get cunt cancer. All these <laughs> all these producers were reading my tweets. I was like, "What are you guys doing on your phone?" They were like, "Oh, we're just reading what you you know how many followers you have," and that ma- that actually means something now. So 
your verification means that you're going somewhere. But and I yours, it. you're not. I'm not going. Means anywhere. that you're I, flying back to LA. The verify, it's I like being in a, do this. it's like being in a top ten list or top twenty list. Like if you're verified, oh, it's so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just no, another it's, status uh, that people can hold above you. I would love to be a part you. of that list. What's this list you bring up? Oh, uh, here's I your, on that list. A million lists. Get get on get on the Guy have code? Dan to hook you up with guy code. Yeah. But it um, used to if be. If I give you a tape about with all my boner VHS. jokes, <laughs> I have a lot of boner jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Will you send that to them? Yeah, uh, absolutely. But if all you right. go to statuspeople.com, you plug you, in your Twitter handle, and it'll say forty percent real people, thirty percent inactive. Oh, can, can you do that right now? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Status why would you want to? They know. Huh? I, I don't know. I don't know how accurate it is. Either, Some of them are sex bots. About that. Yeah, yeah like I know these guys. I talked to somebody, and they they will go in the the actual agency. Yeah. will go in. If it's a big agency and you're going to be a part of something, they will go in and buy you followers so you don't look like a piece of shit with 14 people. No. They will it buy you thousands of people. Psychologically, it makes Is that people, what happened with Eric Rivera? I don't know. Yeah. But some of, some of this on the status people, I guess, someone was telling me that someone will say don't inactive. Know. It says inactive, but that's just people that are on Twitter. They don't tweet, though. Yeah. They just go on to read yeah. tweets. I had somebody t- say yesterday, I, they created a fake Facebook account with pictures of uh, boobs and tits and got 5,000 followers, and they're going to sell the account to somebody who will just take it over and switch it up and have all those followers. Yeah, that's For weird. 300 bucks, you can do that. You can make like three or 400 bucks doing that. That's weird. That's fucking crazy. It's crazy. But... Fuck it. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, uh, listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks this for the is, presence, everybody. Yeah, thanks for the presence, everybody. Uh, Heather and... Uh, Heather Graves for the hats. And also Megan Politano for the Heli Hawaii baby outfit that she gave you. And the... Yeah, Nick- she, was, she really gave me an awesome uh, baby present. If you guys... A, a bunch of you guys have actually uh, went on Amazon.com and searched uh, baby registry... Robert Kelly oh God. and sent me stuff, which was awesome. I really appreciate it. Kevin Kritz as um, well from PA, who was also sent you something. Yeah, they sent me all this great little gifts mm-hmm. for the baby, which I really My appreciate. Thank you so I much. You were registered. So. Nobody told me who. Why, why, but you just you why? But why would you care? You just actually made a sigh when I said that. And I, I thought that you were gonna. I thought that you were. How did people know to do that? Um, they just their went friends, on Amazon. Their friends but with did, Bobby. You didn't, did you hint on lo- on the air that they should uh, send you baby gifts? Oh, I never. Why would I ever say that I'm on Amazon? All you have to do. Why would I say go to baby registry on Amazon and type in Robert Kelly? And why would I do that? <laughs> why, would, I would never do that. Why would Not to anybody my f- say I would go to Amazon.com and type in Robert Kelly? Ba- but baby registry. You don't just baby do registry. Robert Kelly because that you wouldn't find me. Right. But if you wanted to find me, I would never say that. Go to baby registry. Robert Kelly, and then my name comes up, and you click right on there, the one from New York, I, not I the one from that. Seattle. And then there's a bunch of stuff, like a baby monitor I didn't get yet. Oh, that diapers. Thing. Didn't you need diapers? Oh, the stupid... This fuck, why do I need two stupid fucking car seats, by the way? Wow, well, you got yeah. angry. Oh, I could talk to you Thank, about that. Thanks, LaVon. Right. I could hey. use it. LaVon! Hey. Baby talk. Are we doing that instead of tech talk? <laughs> <laughs> Baby talk uh, with Bobby hey, and Nate. Hey. Tech talk is coming out uh, very soon. We're revamping the whole thing. New logo, new everything. It's almost done. We're going to be doing that. Uh, so check out for that. And then in July. July. Are you talking June? June. June the 27th, 28th, 29th. Foxwood. You know what, dude? Podcast show. Louis J. Gomez, Kelly Vestuker, and myself. So make sure you uh, support that. Goodbye. So check it out. Make sure you go to tweakedaudio.com. Buy yourself a pair of headphones, in-air, mic, non-mic, wood grain, green, lime green, white, all kinds of colors, all kinds of styles, and they're great quality headphones for a cheap price. And get this, use the code word DUDE when you check out, you get another 33% off. That's right, 33% off. That's close to almost half. It's a lot, actually. And free shipping. So, make sure you go to tweakedaudio.com. Get yourself a few pairs of headphones. You don't just get one. It's not worth it. I think they wind up being 10 bucks a pair. I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. So buy a few. Give some away. Great gifts. Tweakedaudio.com. Code word DUDE. 33% off. Free shipping right now. And make sure you go to riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly, the You Don't Know What Dude page on Riotcast. And there's an Amazon link and a Gamefly link. 
Anything you buy on the internet, you go through our Amazon link. That's how you support the show. Go to our page, bookmark it, and, and just buy shit. Just buy whatever the fuck you're going to buy, but you'll also be supporting the show. And Gamefly.com slash YKWD, two free weeks of awesome games shipped right to your house. It's the Netflix of video games. If you're a gamer, you should try it if you haven't already. So, you can cancel on any time, too. There you go. You can also donate to the show. If you go to our, our Riotcast page, YKWD, there's a donate button. I want to thank all you uh, awesome, sexy motherfuckers who've donated. All that money has gone to uh, helping out the studio, paying for things. Uh, it's just making the show better. So we appreciate that. And make sure you go to Riotcast.com and check out some of the most amazing podcasts out there. Riotcast.com, we pride ourselves on putting together the most unique, unbelievably funny, uh, interesting podcasts on the internet. It's not just the same thing or the same feel or the same fucking taste over and over and over again. It's different shows, a bunch of different shows. We're all over the fucking charts. We got Bailey J, we got the Davey Mac Sports Show, Weird Medicine with Dr. Steve, we got Hammer Fisting with... Louis J. Gomez. We got all kinds of stuff. We got Glory Hole Network. We got Why You Suck in Bed. I mean, holy caca, there's so much stuff. There's more. There's even more. We got Why My My Wife Hates Me. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, go there. Go to radcast.com. Jersey Jerks. Unbelievable shows. Unbelievable. And it's all free. That's right, free. Only thing you can do is help out the shows by hitting their donate buttons or buying their merch at the top of the page and spreading the word. That's all you have to do. Spread the word of the Riotcast Network in all of our shows. And um, well, that's all you have to do. And we'll make this, we'll keep this free. My Wife Hates Me, Jim Florentine, Weird Medicine, The Comedy Cell, Live from the Comedy Cell, The Glory Hole, Bailey J. Davey Mac Sports Program, Why You Suck in Bed, Mad Scientist Party Hour, The Jersey Jerks, and Hammer Fisting are the shows on the network. All hilarious, all free, and every week they're up there for your enjoyment. So make sure you go support them all. All of them. And get the app. iPad, iPhone, and Android is coming soon. Make sure you email us at ykwd at riotcast.com. You have anything, anything. You want to give us uh, props. You want to tell us some suggestions who to have on the show. Blah, 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 blah. YKWD at Riotcast.com. I'm sitting in my underwear right now on my iPhone with my awesome mic that I got from Carl. And uh, I'm doing this. So enjoy. Don't stop filming my face. Don't stop 